All right. Well, well, well. Hello, everybody. It's Royal Fantasy here. Welcome back to the channel and to another live stream. Today, we got the Caro. Caro's currently in lockboxes, so I'm sure there's going to be many people who are thinking of getting the tank, getting the tank, or want to get better at playing the tank. Hopefully, I can help out. Show you guys how the Caro plays and how I play and maybe provide some uh, tips. And stuff like that along the way. Anyways, happy Saturday to y'all. I'm streaming today uh, because tomorrow's Super Bowl Sunday in the U.S. So I figure probably most people will be watching that. Um, yeah, hopefully that'll be interesting. Anyways, hello to everybody in chat. Great to have you here. Tennessee, Ben, uh, DZ, Fake, Hold On Hero, Blitz Nation, Lewis, and Man Zero, Lorenzo, uh, Eliezer, Eliezer, Skip Dreadman, and Man. Good to see y'all. Welcome, welcome, Colin. Ominous, Immortal, and Blitz. Hello. Great to have you here. Please do smash that like button. Very much appreciated. Thank you very much. Um, and yeah. Fan is your fit. Your fit goes hard today. This is a lazy fit. I just threw a hat and a, and, and a hoodie on. It's, it's kind of chilly in here. Um, it's like 55 degrees in my, my room right now. So kind of. But I mean, I'm already getting hot. So I don't know. <laughs> Guys, somebody else is having issues to get into the match. Uh, I don't know. Why enhanced armor? I don't know. Why did I put enhanced armor on this tank? Who knows? Uh, it did get a turret armor buff, I think, in update 10.3. And I don't know if enhanced armor makes a huge difference, but when you're using, to, you know, your max gun depression, which I think is 9 degrees on this tank. Let me double check on that. I think it's 9 degrees, right? Nine? Yeah, it's 9. Um, so when you are running 9 degrees of gun depression on this vehicle, let's put the attachment on. This is a cool attachment for it. Um... It might make a bit of a difference. I'm not 100% sure. I really haven't played the Kira all that much uh, in the last year or so. Except for here and there, maybe the occasional battle or two. So this will be my first, like, long-term uh, game playing it for, well, since, like, five months ago, at least. Vanus Kara. Vanus Karos. He really Karos. Hey, yo. <laughs> Got the tank for 200 gold with a container draw. Hey, yo. That's not... Wow, that's lucky. I thought the container... I thought those draws were all scams. I thought they were. I already need to feed that young couple in my basement. <laughs> What? What? You know what? I'm, I'm just gonna pretend I didn't read that. Anyways, Caro. It's the only tier 10 auto reloading med with four shells in the magazine, as is the case with most auto reloaders. You have a reserve shell. Um, so for the most part, you're only gonna be using three shells in the mag. It does have pretty high alpha. I believe it's 380 on the standard rounds, 330 on the APCR, and 500 on the high explosive. So we definitely can cook up with that HE as well. Uh, nine degrees of gun depression is pretty solid. Gun handling's okay. You know, it's not the best in the world, but it's not terrible either. Sometimes it makes me a little bit molded. Uh, but for the most part, it does get the job done. Penetration also not really the highest. That's the thing with APCR is calibrated. It doesn't make a huge difference, but I'm still running calibrated for those extra 16 millimeters of APCR pen. For the most part, um, you're just going to want to focus on positioning this tank where you could take full advantage of the magazine, really. Uh, as for mobility, it's all right. 53 top speed, 21 in reverse, average speed 35. It's power to weight, not the best, and you will notice it feels pretty sluggish when it comes to accelerating moving around. It's probably my one gripe with this tank, really. Armor... Troll, not the most effective, but it's troll, and it will get some ricochets, especially against standard rounds from meds and lower pen guns in general, tier 9s too. Uh, but that's basically the tank. A lot of it is just about positioning. That's the case with most autoloaders, but especially something like the Caro, you really have to be very picky with the fights you take, because this tank doesn't really have the best DPM in the world. Let's jump into a game. Um... But it does have a decent amount of damage output. And if you can pull back and reload your shells, or you can use it as a single shot too. From my experience, the auto reloaders are generally a little bit better to just kind of just get, you know, as many shells out as you can. Excluding the reserve shell. Okay, don't try not to dump that unless you absolutely have to. AKA, there's no more damage at the end of the battle for you to farm, or you really need to pick up a kill or something and don't have the time to reload. Like, there are some cases where the reserve shell is definitely going to be nice, and I try and use it towards the end of a game if I don't think I'm going to do more damage, but that's about it. Uh, also, Curve 45 was recently nerfed. Yeah, I think it got, like, a slight mobility nerf, <laughs> which makes the already, uh, already sluggish mobility feel worse. We are on Mine Ruins. It's been, a hot, it's been a hot minute, I think, since this map was reintroduced. I've played it a few times now. Hopefully, the teams are finally getting back into the groove of things for this map. That's the one thing about Wargaming rotating out maps. I feel like the uh, the players that hardly know how to play the map when it's been in the game since the start will struggle even more. Uh, anyways, as for mobility, you can see the STB-1 out accelerating me here. And the STB-1 isn't even, like, the fastest of Tier 10 meds. And <laughs> he started out behind me. He's basically... Yeah, it's basically going to overtake me the moment we reach some um, hard terrain or something. 
But once you once you do get that momentum going, it is pretty fast. It's just it's acceleration definitely feels a little lackluster at time. We're gonna go to my favorite position, which is this bridge control spot. It gives you a nice crossfire across the map here. And hopefully we can stay nice and hold down and get some shots into anyone if they came to this side of the map. Which so far, no. Interesting. I actually was expecting their team to go mid, but it looks like most of their team has gone towards town, which means my ally should run into them soon. Right? Okay, there we go. There they are. Alright, so my allies have made contact with the enemy team. I'm trying to think of how I should play this out. I don't want to push into their spawn yet with an E3 and a win E3, kind of just chilling in the unknown. Uh, my ally is being very aggressive here, and I think what I'm going to do is maybe try and pull across to get some crossfire going with this E75. Because right now my allied heavy tanks are creating quite the diversion, and I want to try and capitalize on that, if at all possible. But we also have to be wary of the 183 just kind of just chilling in Narnia. Uh, this Yo has now pulled up here. Let's see the 57 pulling out. I'm going to pop a shell into the 57 here. Unfortunately, E75 taking all the damage there. So shoot another one into him. And that's how you do 1100 damage and pull back and reload. And yeah, basically, I only made this play because I knew the E75 was with me. I probably wouldn't have done this if I was by myself because there's so many autoloaders on their team. I mean, they have like three autoloaders. Well, one of them is dead. Uh, and a lot of other like nasty vehicles you really don't want to face 57 is getting ready to pull out So I should be able to put two shots in here to clear him out. Maybe there we go quick track shot here um, And he's just gonna die. I'm gonna take that trade in order to clear out an enemy gun there There is also a t124 here. Maybe we should reload a couple shots. Let's see We might have enough time to reload one more shell here. Come on one more. There we go Put a quick shot to him not gonna take that shot just yet The score is somewhat close still and we've lost most of our heavy tanks so let's just reload here, try and stay safe and not bleed out as much as we can. The E75 will probably take a shot here. I'm waiting for the E4 to fire. E4 just fired, so let's pick up that clear if we can. Unfortunately, missing out on the clear here, but I think the STB should have them. Let's see. Oh, or not, or not. Ooh, maybe maybe a misplay on my part. You know what, I'll, I'll pick up a clear on them. There we go. Better late than never. And here's where using my reserve shells probably valid at this point. As this dude's probably not going to be alive very long. And, ah, he was looking at me. No, I thought he'd be looking at the 2 and 5 e behind him. It's okay. Yeah, we did fine, right? And we were shooting pretty much on DPM there. Probably about 3,200 damage. I don't think I actually farmed all that much. Um, 2,700 actually. And that is going to be my kind of one gripe with the Cairo. Is it... It... It's not... The best damage farmer from my experience with the tank. It can get good games, but it's a bit situational in that regard. Um, you know, last battle, if I'd chosen just to dub my full magazine into the E5 instead of picking up the E4 there, then maybe I would have had mm, 3,200 or so at the end. But, um, yeah, <laughs> that is the good old-fashioned Carol for you. Uh, you provide the best gameplay to learn from on YouTube. Oh, uh, Phoenix, thank you very much for the Phoenix Shear. Thank you very much for the donation. Do you appreciate you that? You provide the best gameplay Bro, to learn from why are you wearing time. a baseball cap indoors? Because my hair is a mess, and I'm too lazy to try and style it. Why else would I be wearing a hat right now, button? Shaking my head. It's cold in my room. I need to keep my head warm. That's where all of my big brain decisions come from. All right, we're going to go mid. I don't want to contest an STB. A 1 to 1B I could probably deal with. Um, STB with its premium AP rounds and its 11 degrees of gun depression would just destroy me. Uh, so that's not a play I really want to take. But I will see if I can at least get an early shot in here. And... Ooh, okay. Just like that, we're already down to 11 hit points. Yay, you got to love that. Two meds shoot me, and I feel like I've lost half my HP already. Uh, STB actually rolling higher than my tank here, which is uh, not fun when you have an auto-reloader. That takes a, a decent amount of time to reload, and that happens. Anyhow, let's see what we got here. Okay, there's the one to one b I do have to watch for tank destroyers. They could have a tank back over that ridge line, so it's best to be careful. Okay, there's the 268. So we, at least we know the 268's position. 405, I'm not 100% sure about. And I think this 121B is still trying to wait for shots. I mean, I might have enough gun depression here to shoot there, and that would be a 405. So they do have a 405 chilling back there. Okay, good to know. Now, at that angle, the 121B probably struggles to pen me because I am using full gun depression. And this is probably not the best fight for me to keep taking. And, well, interesting play, my dude. Uh, at least we do roughly know where their 405 is located. Our STB is just kind of chilling down here. He's not really doing anything, which is a bit concerning. We also have a 50B and a 268 coming in through the sides here. So my team is probably going to pressure the top. And the enemy team... 
Hmm, let me see if there's something I can start doing about this 50B here. Because right now my allies are going to get cooked by this 50B from behind. So we're just going to rotate it back a little bit. There we go. There's the 50B. Put a quick shot on him there. STB does not currently have shots on me. 50B still in the open. Just put another shell into him. Can at least make him a one shot. But that 268's been kind of concerning. All right, you know what? We'll, we'll, we'll reload a few more shells here if we can. Maybe we can get ready to start taking care of this 268 here. All right. Come on. Kill shot. Wow. No pen on the mantlet, on the hatch there. That's interesting. And my allies are already all dying. Wow, this is not good. Okay, so where can I pull to that's safer? I don't want a 57 dropping on me. So let's drop back down from here. Might go and help our STV out and our E3. Yeah, STV and E3 might need some assistance here in just a moment. Let's see. The 405 is almost dead. My concern right now would be the 57 heavy, but I'm pretty sure that 57 heavy has just now got into encounter cap. Oh, snap. That is not the 57 in encounter cap. Okay, we get one one lucky ricochet here. Fortunately, the 57 is not paying attention to me all that much. He has one more shot on the mag. He gets taken out. Good stuff. And uh, dang, that's a 50B looking at me. Let's pull away from that. There we go. So it is the one to one b that's in the cap. Good to know. Uh, 50B gets taken out there. Nice stuff. Now, I am a one shot, so let's take it nice and easy. And I don't know if I can trust my tank destroyers to win this all that well. So, yeah, let's just try not to throw our tank away. I'm at least going to stay where I have the TD crossfires. Not the funnest fight. Uh, but I think in the for the most part, we've done okay. Yeah. For the most part, we've done okay. The important part for me right now is just to not throw my tank away at all, if I can help it. Um, I should have the crossfire of these tank destroyers if the enemy team does decide to start pushing up on me a little bit here. Okay, there's the Kranwagen. The Kranwagen is not quite paying attention to me just yet, and our STB is overextended slightly. So let's put a quick shot towards the Kran. Okay, we shot under his turret. That's been unfortunate. Let's track him here. Here we go. One track shot. You should get nuked by one of the TD soon. There we go. Nice. And that should be GG. 3,000 water damage dealt. Uh, not, not, the, not the sauciest farm game in the world. That's for sure. Let's put a quick shot to this dude. And since he's about to die to probably the whole rear of the 183, I used my reserve shell there. Although maybe I used it a little too early. Nah, the 183's got this, right? You, you got this, champ, right? You got this. Yeah, okay. That was fine then. That was a fine use of the reserve shell there. Fan is cl uh, clutching. Uh, that was a pretty messy game, to be honest. I thought the 57 was the one that wandered into encounter cap, which is why I was pushing up to help the STB. And I almost died for it, but fortunately, the 57 decided to kill the E3 first. Otherwise, not a good game for me. Uh, shout out to E3. Played good job there. Played hold on on the ridge. Um, not so much of a shout out to our chieftain doing a donut there, but there's no longer a donut. It's just a dash now. Wargaming is like, no donuts. Players don't do donuts anymore. You do dashes. His royal influencer, high shock. Keep it natural. Wow. Keep it natural. Yes, exactly, bud. <laughs> Keep it natural. <laughs> no. Uh, my hair is too much of a mess right now. <laughs> Find a, a reasonable time for us Europeans. I try and do it every once in a while. You know, every once in a while, I try and get a reasonable European time stream in. Hey, fans, is the 290 APCR the biggest drawback for this vehicle? Um, no, actually, I would not say it is. I mean, it would be nice to have more premium pen. That is for sure. But... Uh, but I personally, personally, I find the kind of the biggest drawback for this tank to be its its sluggish mobility. It's not terrible, but uh, with these kind of light, more lightly armored auto reloader type vehicles, I do value having good mobility so you can really flex around and utilize the mechanic to its fullest. Whereas when you're kind of stuck in a fight and you can't outrun like certain vehicles, it just kind of sucks. So you got to be extra careful with your positioning of the carol is what I'm trying to say. Can I get a shout out to this royal? Yes, Shocky. Shout out to you, good sir. Uh, what are your thoughts on this tank? I think it's good. I think it's I think it's I think it's a very solid tank. It does take a pretty specific playstyle in order to make it work, and it might not vibe with everyone. Uh, but I would definitely not say it's bad by any means. It just uh, you just got to make sure you play correctly in order to do well in it. Speaking of correctly, we have the bad spawn on vineyards. I'm not really sure how I'm going to want to play this one out because they have a very strong med force that can push all the way across. So I'm going to see if I can spot the med crossing right off the bat. Maybe get an early shot or two in on anyone crossing. So far, that's not the case. Okay. We still might spot someone crossing here. Not quite yet. Okay. So they haven't crossed yet. That's cool. I'm going to see if I can now spot up the 60 TP or STRV. There's the STRVK there. Um, let's see. Is anyone else around this corner? No. It's, so it's just an STRVK. Let's put a pop, a quick shot onto him. There's the enemy's D125 as well. Uh, we might be able to put another shot into this dude. There we go. Getting some nice little snapshots in. Minotaro also happens to be crossing into Narnia. And, uh, this is not the worst early, early game play for me to make. But I won't be able to sit here all game. Because we know they're going to have a decent amount of crosshairs from there. And Minoratsu are going towards the entrance of town. Which is a little bit more of a concern for me. 
Uh, I'm gonna see if I can spot anyone else up through here. Maybe the 30B, not quite. There's the Leo as well. There is the KPZ. Tried to track him there, but unfortunately missing out on that one. Let's put a shot towards the 30B instead. And he does manage to overmatch my hatch, it looks like. There's a little viewport on top. Do you have to watch out for that on this tank? And we'll also want to keep an eye out on that corner in case the Minotauro has fully committed to going town. We've already lost the 62A as well. There's the enemy's 60TB. He has just pulled up and fired his gun here. Um, don't really have any good shots, and I don't want to send the open. Oh, snap. That's, that's the Minerato. Okay, he misses his first shot. We have three seconds to put a shell into him pull back. There we go. All right, working off his intraclip there. Let's see what we can keep doing here. I think I think we're I think we're good to keep chilling for now. The, the Mina, the Mina, the Mina Rato making some very suspect plays. And same with this KPZ here. I'm not really sure what this KPZ is trying to accomplish, but let's put a quick shot on him. Just make sure I'm not getting YOLO'd from anywhere. And I think we'll even be able to maybe start pressuring underneath here a little bit. We're safe from the E5 and only have a 30B to really worry about. And we ran out of gun depression there. It's a bit of a rip. APCR. Nice. A little clear there. Fortunately, I had to take a shot for it, but I'll take it. Uh, and we can also probably, once we reload our full mag, get ready to start dealing with this STRVK here, who is kind of just harassing my teammates for the time being. All right. So, a quick shot to the STRVK. Nope, the gun. There's that little bit of, you know, semi-troll gun handling on this tank, and that was a pretty big low roll, but, you know, I'm just going to pick up the clear here. There we go. I'm still safe from the E5, and the 30B can't make a play on me, so I think we made the right play. We made the right rotation here. Fortunately, their heavies are kind of just, yeah, dead. All right. Let's see, we still have a 183 cross firing out the side here. Minerato's in town. The only unspotted tank would be their Leo 1, who is either AFK or sniping in the back. One of the two, I'm not really sure. Um, here's the enemy's T1185. Quick shell towards him. We do manage to bait a shell from him at least. So let's pop another shell towards him. There we go. And we'll pop a second shell towards him. And let's just reload for now. Oh, there's the Leo. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, maybe I should have gone for the clear on this dude. Eh, I should have gone for the clear on him with the third, with the fourth shell there, probably. Come on, come on, pull back a hair more. Okay, he's he's dead. He's dead. I'm gonna go clear the Minotauro instead. Minotaur's probably dead to the 4005 though. Now that I think about it. Oh, the Minotauro is so dead. Oh wait, 4005 fluffed a shell. Maybe fluff one more. Uh, it's it's Jover. It's Jover. He's dead. Oh no, I fluffed my kill shot. <laughs> oh, I tried to sneak it in. I know. Uh, kill, uh, sneaky kill stealing there. Failed. Mission failed. We'll get him next time. I think we played that okay. Mostly just playing that mid-range. Fortunately for me, once again, about 3k. Like I said, I don't find this to be the best damage farmer in 210 right now. Um, it's fine, but it, it definitely requires, like, a little bit more prime scenario. Versus something like a bat chat, which is dumping a thousand damage out in, like, five seconds. Yeah, like, no, less than five seconds for 10, 1050 damage. And then it goes like 65 kilometers an hour, zooms around, and does all that stuff. And also, also, the uh, the bat chat has way better accuracy. So, like, I it, I do find that when it comes to your kind of auto-loading mobile vehicles, like, you have tanks like the bat chat, which are just super strong for that type of stuff. And the Karo is a little bit more slow. Fast, what am I watching? I don't know, but maybe you're watching a World of Tanks Blitz stream. There you go. Hey, Fatty, you finally caught you live. Hey, 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 how's it going? All right, let's see what we can do here. STB. Ah, dang. Those STBs are so annoying. There's very little you can do about them. 11 degrees of gun depression. The hatch and the cheeks are really tiny. So you need, like, a super accurate gun in order to reliably hit them. And, uh, premium AP on that thing just butters any armor profile you could dream of having. I might go bridges. Usually I'd go park on this spawn, but I can see we have a Chief to Mark 6 already headed this way. And we also have a Kron that could go hold on as well. So... With those two heavy tanks going haul down, we might be okay at the bridges. Might be. Not 100% sure about it yet. All right. Well, definitely not hitting that snapshot. That all movement dispersion. ooh -wee. It's not pretty, that's for sure. I'm going to see if I can keep kind of spotting here. And unfortunately, I pulled back a millisecond before that 140 cross. So I didn't spot him early enough. Um, we do have a BZ here. So let's put a quick shot to the BZ. Nice. One early shot at least is good for me. Um, we also have this M4 MLE here who is being quite aggressive. Maybe a little bit too aggressive here. Let's put a shell to him as well. And our Kron is kind of getting crossfired out now. This is why I don't like to overextend on the bridges. Let's wait to see if this BZ pulls forward again. Which, it doesn't look like he will. And I might even end up rotating out myself here eventually. If the crossfires are too mean, it might be better for me to get out of here. Because that M4 is going to be going to where that 200 LT is. Once that M4 gets there, that's going to be a real pain, pain for my teammates to deal with. So I might even prepare to start my rotation now. Um... I don't really want to get shot, though. That's going to be the problem here. 
but my allies do need support and I should not be spotted just yet. So let's make that rotation while we can. Good stuff. All right. Yeah. Okay. We can make a rotation out. I'm going to go for the T100 LT and M4. Uh, my allies are getting Omega crossfired out on the bridge here. I can help our E3 push up as well. Chieftain's struggling a little bit. We're going to have to make this counter push, boys. Together, let's go. E100, we can't sit here all battle, my dude. There we go. M4 taking a shot up to the up to the face. Quick, quick shot to this man's here. Nice. Uh, the T1 LT probably is not going to poke that, although we still need to prioritize this M4. He is poking it, I guess. Not a smart play by you, good sir. Alrighty. So, let's, let's reload our full magazine if we can here. I don't want to take a shot from the M4 if I don't have to. Alright, quick shot. Nah. This is why I shouldn't go for those crazy snapshots. Okay. I'm going to make sure we clear out this T1 LT first. So, we can at least clear some guns out of this game from the enemy team. Alright, aim. There we go. Quick clear onto him there. Our E3 is hauled down, so that's good news. And there's a BZ in front of me, which I think is running the 128. Not quite as concerned about him if he's running the uh, the 130 there. Okay. He, uh, he is indeed running a 130. Anyways, uh, BZ just being quite aggressive here. I'm just gonna pull up on this dude. One shell to him here. You could probably just full mag dump into this dude. Yeah, at this point, you can totally just mag dump into him. Max roll, please. Uh, I didn't get my max roll. Hey, we got a ricochet. I'll use my repair kit now. Nice. Definitely made the right rotation there. If I had stayed on that ramp, that would have been a very unpleasant experience. So I, I noticed when they had a slight weakness, which was the, those two dudes isolated on that ramp, and we had an E3 rated, waiting to counter push, which is, uh, which is, oh wait, do we have shots on the E5 here? No, I don't. Which is why I made that rotation out there. And I think that was the right call. But you have to make those rotations pretty early because if you wait too long, you're stuck in, in that hold down fight, which is, you know, it's just not a very pleasant experience, let's be honest. All right, so there's an STB over here. E5 up top over here. E5 has dropped down. APCR, nice. That's a pretty important kill shot stuff. It's me and E3 in a one shot um, Leo one over here. And the, I'm a bit worried about the 4005, but you know what? Let's just make a bit of a play right now. One, 4005 can one, one clip me though, if I'm not careful here. So let me think about how I can cover the STB's escape while also making sure to keeping the 4005 in check. Cause I don't want him to escape fully into town here. That'd be a bit of a pain for me. Um, if you can get hauled down. All right, there's the 4005. That's good to know. At least we know the 4005's positioning now. Come on, poke up the shoot at me, buddy. Yes, that's right. Yeah, there we go. One one shot into this man's here. Alrighty, and we also have ourselves our E STB. Let's make sure we get safe from the 4005 in a position where the E3 or someone like that can cover me, preferably. And it looks like that's not gonna be the case here. There we go. One clear onto this dude. Good stuff. Just leaves Mr. STB here. One shot into him as well. And Mr. STB, there's nowhere else for you to back up, buddy. Good stuff. Alright. I didn't think our E3 was going to drop all the way through town. I thought he was still covering on the ramps, <laughs> which is why I was like, oh, I can just pull in and uh, the 405 won't be able to push on me. Thankfully, the Leo rotated back for help. 4,000 damage dealt there. That's like the longer type of game that you're going to want to hope you can get in the, uh, in the Karo. Well played to the STB as well. Seems like he had a pretty good game. Unfortunately, he did not win. Fortunately for me, he did not win. <laughs> Um, that was, <laughs> this was very good, HRF. Now it is time to farm. Oh, yeah, good time to farm. <laughs> 4K is what I should be averaging in this tank. Shaking my head. I'm gonna go spot B. They have double chief to mark sixes, a 60 TP. They also have a Leo STB, a 1 to 1B, and a 1E3. Pretty nasty team lineup, if I say so myself. So, my goal for this game is to immediately spot at the mid. I personally do not like committing to a caves fight anymore. I find that once you get to the caves, there's no chance of really rotating out freely. Um, and it just turns into kind of like everyone sitting there staring at each other, which is why I usually try and when possible to go for like a early B spotting position so I can rotate out pretty quickly if necessary. Um, there's the enemies Leo ones, so put a quick shell into them, nice stuff. And so far, Leo and Chieftain spotted over here. So let's get to know. I'm just gonna pull back to a safer position. That way, if there's a 1A3 waiting to shoot me, he can't. Looks like the 60 TP and other chief have gone up towards the cave. Okay. Um, the 121 and I'm sorry, not the 121. I think the 121 is actually in the cave. So my team is fairly split up here. That's for sure. Here's the enemy's Leo. Let's load up a high explosive shell for him. Oh boy, 577. That had to hurt. That must have hurt. Okay. Chieftain also getting ready to rotate out. It looks like most of their team has gone over towards the caves here. So that's some good news for me. Uh, good as in, I'm glad I didn't commit to the caves. This is why. K's big suck to commit to. Okay. So the Chieftain's making a 
ASAP rotation out of here. There's the other chieftain as well. At least I'm hauled down, but the problem is, is these dudes are going to be looking down on my tank, which means easy bends for them on my turret. If I'm not careful here. E5 rotating in towards their spawn. I do have any water covering me over here on this side too. So I think we'll be okay for now. Let's see. We're just going to hold mid for now. That's probably the best play. I'm still concerned about a 183 popping up into a bush over there, but our E5 will probably be the, the one to take that shot if that does occur. All right. Was I still spotted the whole time? No, he was... What was he looking for? I literally wasn't spotted there. Okay. <laughs> I was like, I, I haven't been spotted in a hot minute over there. I don't know what this man's just aiming for, but uh, let's see what we can do. Our chieftain is getting destroyed. That's a bit unfortunate, ain't it? Okay. We might have to... Okay, that's not going to work in my favor. Hat shot into this dude at least. Okay, we do manage to get a hat shell in. SDB has overextended a little bit to shoot at me as well. The 60 TP is also here. 60 TP rotating in towards the mid, maybe. All right, me and this STB, we can clear out this STB, I mean, me and this E100 here. Watch this up, the 183 is not over on this side. We're going to have to clear out this STB pretty quickly anyway, so I, I don't mind taking a shot or two here for him. Maybe not two shots if I can help it. Okay, there is a 60 TP also pushing on in behind us here. Alrighty, that's not good for us. And I guess I'm going to have to just hold these chieftains at bay for now. Nice HE. All right. Nice. I'll keep the chieftains at bay. The 100 of my teammates can deal with the 60 TP. My, my priority right now is just to be support. Not to like YOLO in and farm damage per se. Uh, in this in this position here. Okay. Now that the one is backing up, I might consider relocating. Just a bit. To a safer position. That might be the best play for me to make right now. So let's see if we can pull that off. Okay. So unfortunately, our E100 still got himself killed there, which kind of blows, but, uh... Oh, of course, that's where the 1-2-1-B's at. Oh my gosh, and there we go. There's the good old-fashioned Carol gun that I very strongly, um, mauled at sometimes. Alright, one more pen, please. Reserve shell time. That was a good time to use my reserve shell there. Unfortunately, I do have chieftains pulling up behind me and in front of me, but fortunately, I can kind of hide from them back here. 62A, please start farming these dudes for me. Please and thank you. I would really not like to die right now if I can help it. <laughs> if I can help it being the key word, which I don't think I will be able to help it very well. Okay, okay. Nice, 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 nice. Can I get safe from this dude? Okay, clutch. That's huge. Okay. The problem is, is the other dude's going to pull around behind me, probably. Okay, I'm ready to pull back at a moment's notice. All right, well, this is not looking good for us, boys. This is not looking good for us over here. I'm still alive for now. What do I got for support? Just an E5 on no HP. Okay. Is this dude gonna make a play eventually? Oh, this blows. This absolutely blows. Okay. I don't know if I'm still spotted. That's the real question. Am I still spotted here? I just got to go for the kill shot. All right, huge. Problem is, is this other dude is very dead. Ainy. Is the E5 dead? I can't tell. He's still alive for now. Can you face hug him E5 or something? Can you just face hug him? Let's see. What, what's, our, what's our E5 doing? Oh, our E5 is being a... Oh, he's actually not making the worst plays in the world, but he's probably still going to die here, fortunately. Yep, he's dead. Oh, wait. Chieftain, Chieftain fluffing a shot here. Okay, another shot. Come on. E5. Pressure from behind. Pressure from behind, my dude. Good stuff, E5. All right. You get an upvote, Mr. E5. That E5 gets an upvote there. He stayed alive. That's all I needed. I just needed him to stay alive. And he did what no one else on my team could, which was to survive. And that allowed me to kill the other chieftain there and everything. Um, so yeah, well played, Mr. E5. Good game to you. I think for the most part, I played it okay. Um, I didn't really think the one to one b was going to be there. I think that was still a fine decision when I made that rotation over towards our spawn. But the one to one b kind of screwed me a little bit and I lost all my HP. Uh, but fortunately, I managed to just hug those rocks stay unproxy spotted and was able to cast their chieftain out and i got the ricochet well yeah a few ricochets really so i'll take it that was good yeah that was a sweaty game man that was such a sweaty game I, i'm just happy my e5 like 
wasn't poking, wasn't playing no games. Dude just stayed alive, and that's what we really need. Both chieftains sold themselves wholly. Well, that's just your typical chieftain players, to be honest. <laughs> they try if you need supercharge. Maybe supercharge. I don't know. I kind of wanted to reduce the aim time on it, though. Because for me, I don't really plan on sniping in the Karo. Like, my, my overall decisions for this tank is to not snipe if I can help it. It's, it's gun just isn't really accurate enough to be a consistent sniper. So that's why I am running uh, the aim time mechanics. I don't have to poke for as long when I want to actually shoot something. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you. Hold on, hero. Uh, that shows what... Uh, why that tank carry can be dangerous oh 100 percent right and, and the the auto reloaders they get a lot more dangerous as the game progresses like they're they're fairly not as good as anything else when it comes to maybe like early estimate okay maybe early game you can get some a lot of damage out initially but where they truly shine is when they get to those um is when they get to those late game scenarios and there's a lot of like lower hp targets that you can pick up so it's really good to hold your hp if you can help it all right, so we got, okay, Kronwagen. We got the Kampfpanzer, the 62A on the enemy team is making a rather interesting play, if I say so myself. He does take two shots to the face for it, though. That's interesting. Kron, E100, Kampfpanzer, 1-1-B, 62A. 62A should be dealt with okay over there. Hmm, I can't even really rotate it out from here. This is a very bizarre game, to say the least, to be honest. There's the Ag. That's what I was curious about. Now we know the Jaeger is positioning here. All right, one shot into this dude. Ah, oh, I should have waited a millisecond longer. I could have had more shots in the magazine there. All right, let's back up just a little bit from the 62A. He's still trying to shoot at me. We'll hug this ridge so the Kron can't shoot at us if he's still poking, which he does not look like he is. Oh, yep, he definitely is. Hello, Mr. Kronwagen. How's it going? Hope you're having a good day, sir. Yes, yes, yes. Ho ho hope you're doing fine and dandy over there. Don't, don't mind me, Mr. Kronwagen. I'm just chilling over here. You do your thing. That's right. You do your thing, boss. Okay, so Yeagaru is rotating around. 62A is getting caught off guard. Let's put a quick kill into the 62A. I don't think I can cross here safely, unfortunately. Our Badger should be fine. Nice, good work, Badger. Now we can rotate back for the heavies or the 1 to 1B. All right. Oh, well, I mean, that could have been a whole lot worse. That's for sure. I'll take it. And let's rotate in for these heavy tanks here. This is where the farm is at, my dudes. This is where the farm is at. So let's put a quick shot to the 100 here. All right, I'm going to pull all the way across. So I don't get cross fired up with the Kron. Let's see, do I have enough? Do I, should I just pick up the clear? I'll pick up the clear here. I'm not going to be that greedy for damage. All right, 2.7k down already. I am decently happy with that. Let's see, where can we rotate to now? All right, there's the Kronwagen. Ooh-wee. Do you have time for one more? Yeah, I'll put one in right. Ah, 200 damage. That's a scam. That is an actual scam. I mean, at 3k already. All I need to do is hit, like, two more shots. Come on. All right, all right, all right. One HE. Huge. You know what? Let's just go for the double HE. Or just put an AP shell in. I'll use my reserve there. I'm using my reserve so I can get the 3.8k damage. I think the Yag's going to probably die before I can really farm him out. So, yay. Or actually, no. Maybe we can actually get a shell into Mr. Yeageru here. Uh, Yeageru, don't turn away from the TBP or the I-7. I'm telling you, that's not going to be a good, a good idea on you, my, my dude. Nice. 4k damage. Button with the $1 donation! Let's go! <laughs> Thank you very much, Button. Wait, can I like a dono? Oh, no, that's just a heart. Oh, I can like donos! Huh? Has that always been a feature? Oh, I can heart donos. That's so cool. I didn't know you could do that. The more you know. The more you know, the less you wonder, as as, as the big brains say. All right, 4,000 damage there, three kills. Pretty chill game. Send back, waiting to capitalize on the enemy's mispositioning, right? Uh, 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 that's just the care in a nutshell. Like, don't overextend in this tank. Just wait for the moment to arrive. And if the moment doesn't arrive, you lose and oh well. How does he compare with the average chieftain on NA? What is your opinion on Scrim's chieftain? I saw you. Oh my gosh. He is, he is the epitome of your trashy chieftain player that just goes and snipes in a flank because they have an accurate gun or just tries to be a rat hole down. You know, chieftain player things. <laughs> okay, answer the question. <laughs> Hello for the UK. Thank you for all the streams. My pleasure. Hello to the UK as well. If y'all are having a good end to your Saturday, really sun almost Sunday for y'all. All right, Mr. Kampfpanzer. Oh, wow, that's a 200 LT. Okay, wow, that tank has... This is the problem with APCR. Do you see how I just cannot pen that tank? Yeah, I love APCR for this. What the? All right, putting a quick shot into the 268 there. That's that's pretty clutch for me and my allies. Um, we do have a whole team coming this way, so I'm not super worried about late game stuff happening here, but... We do want to kind of maybe watch out for 
Let's put a quick shot to this dude at least. Watch out for this 268, who seems to be very aggressive. My gosh, this 268 is like sending it. I mean, I res I respect the aggressive 268 gameplay. I also am an aggressive 268 player, but I would not recommend overextending the way that this poor soul has here. All right, let's put a track shot into this man's here. He should be out of repair kits. Put another track shot into him. Let's pull back. I really don't want to take another shot if I can help it. And okay, now I'm getting shot in the rear. You know what? We're just gonna have to pick up the clear here. I have 500 HE alpha. I hit his upper plate and I splashed him for nine. That's crazy. Okay. So I did get shot on the back of the turret. That would be the mouse. Wow. Ayo, you're telling me they have a spawn sniping mouse. That's adorable. That is actually adorable. Spawn sniping mice, man. You don't get much more classic on the NA server than that. Okay, please don't, please don't try shooting at me anymore. Thank you very much, buddy. Appreciate it. I do. Ah, he does a spawn. Destro 131 in the mouse is showing us the new way to play. <laughs> Do you know the new way to play? Do you know the new way to play? We should be careful. This game is pretty close. Like, they have a lot of one shots, and so do we. Which is why I'm really trying not to bleed anymore if I can help it. If I can help it, being the key word here. All right, I think the T1 LT is about to make a pressure play here, so let's take a quick pop shot into his tank here. And he's being quite aggressive indeed. Another pop shot into his tank here. 215B is on a reload. Let's make a one shot for my allies. All right. Do I have a kill shot? I do not really have a kill shot, so I'll have to hope our 263 does okay there. Our 57 is pretty healthy, and 263 done got himself killed. That's, that's, that's unfortunate, ain't it? All right. Should be unspotted. WZ. Oh, heck yeah. Hyrule. Good stuff, dude. All right. Oh, this is a bit of a pain. Doesn't help that our other dude's just in the worst positioning possible right now. All right. Make him a two-shot guarantee with the HE. Gotta take it nice and easy. He's just waiting for me to poke up on him a little bit. Just a little bit more. Okay, he's almost a one shot with HE now. Let's try and not give him too much of a shot on me. There we go. He's basically one shot now. Nice. Clearing the 268 out there. 215 is almost dead. Come on, WZ, clear him if you can. That'd be huge. Yeah. Yes. No, no. Oh boy, 57 heavy. Let me see. How am I going to play this out from here? This Leo is definitely going to get ready to poke up on our 57 here. Huge. All right. It's 4,200 damage dealt. Leo's a one shot. WZ's down. Our 57's almost dead as well. That's not very good for us at all. I can't really HE spam this 215B from this angle here. So here's what we'll do instead. Pull back a little bit. We're gonna try and get unspotted and put ourselves in a position where we won't get crossfired by the mouse, but where we can deal with maybe this. Okay, well, that's not good. That is very much not good. Yeah, this is just dead. He's so dead. No! I should have rotated out faster. I should have rotated out faster. Well, guys, this is not looking so good for your chief. <sighs> I don't even know if I can one-shot the 205B. Okay, there's the 205B. We do manage to one-tap him at least. Leo managed to make me a one-tap though as well. It's a bit of an unfortunate mistake on my part, I think. Oh boy, can we just hope an RNG will be on my side? Down to see if, if I can if I can just get lucky on the RNG rolls here. Dang it, we are we are very much not getting lucky. Ah, we did get lucky. We got lucky for a second here. Okay. Ah. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay. This mouse doesn't seem to be the best player. 
No, why is it just tracking him? It's not doing anything. It's not doing any damage is what I mean to say. Gotta wait till I have at least a full mag loaded here. Okay. Nice. Alright. 2 HP, man. That Leo low rolled me. I'm so lucky. Fifty seconds left. Fifty seconds left. What I'm gonna have to do here... Make sure every shot counts. No! Every shot has not counted. I'm gonna run out of time, I think. Unless I can just sit here and reload an another four shells. Four shells, right? Four shells? Would that be enough? Maybe. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, one shot. Alright, alright, alright. Two shot. Gotta make sure I don't bump into this mouse here. No! Do I have time to reload another one? I don't think I do. I should have shot APCR. Nope. Uh, we gotta pray for the high roll then. Dang it. <laughs> no! What is that garbage? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Why? I bounced like one too many shots in the mouth. Why were my rear track shots doing zero? I think I played that okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Literally, if I just... Mm, if I just had him bounce one of those shots, it was such an easy win. I played that so perfectly. Dang it. That was so annoying. I just, get, I just kept getting the no pens and the track shots there. If I hadn't used my reserve shell so many times, but the reason I was tracking the mouse there is I wanted to use him as a kind of meat shield from the Leo. That way, you know, it's not just the, the corpse of the tank in front of me, but also the mouse sideways could use both of them as a shield to try and clear out that Leo, which, you know, I did manage to clear out the Leo, but oh my goodness. That's such a feels bad man moment, man. 7,100 damage too. Mm. That would have been such a nice clear. If I hadn't shot APCR, if I had been maybe a little bit more patient, um, on the second shot, the second to last shot I did to the mouse there, wait till I had a flat side shot and shot AP at his side, then I probably would have average rolled and killed him. So, maybe I should have just been a little bit more patient there. I was, uh, I was just kind of acting on instinct, but I'm like, oh wait, I am on my reserve shell after this. Oh no, there was only 20 seconds left to the game. <laughs> Feels bad, man. Did my best. Uh, d I mean, yeah, I mean, I did okay, considering everyone else on the team, I guess. <laughs> Kind of, I kind of uh, giga played that as a as a low HP one shot for most of that battle. Oh well, all is uh, all is not lost. We did our best. We almost cooked up, and I kind of threw at the end, which makes me sad. To be fair, that should never have been an even winnable situation. Fortunately, their mouse was just extremely bad, uh, and so that allowed me to kind of just outplay him. On those those ridges are so powerful. If you find yourself going against like heavily armored tanks, utilize ridges to your fullest potential. Trust me, you will not regret it. All right. Damage to Zamorak. Come on. All right. HE. Nice. 510 there. Let's, let's track him again, maybe. Not quite. Okay. So basically, the whole enemy team is here. It's me and E100 at least. And it does look like my allies are busy on a bat shot. Is that the same mouse? It's not Destroyer. Oh, it is. Destroyer 131. Now he's on my team. I have been cursed, ladies and gentlemen. I have been cursed. He is now on my team. I now have to deal with Destroyer 131 from the Mouse Clan. No, he's not even in a clan. He's just in a mouse. <laughs> All right, Destroyer 131. Let's go clear out this right side together. Come on. Come on, laddie. All right, TI2, Waffenträger. Time time to be a little bit more, more aggressive here, boys. Hello, Mr. 62A. HE up the booty. Oh! I, oh, yes, I'll take that. Oh, yeah. All right, we're at 2.4k damage already. All, all in all, things could be a lot worse. I at least haven't bled, uh, and I'm still chilling. I'm still alive. Uh, it does look like there is a bit of a pattern problem over here for my team. In the 62A, yeah, I'm gonna have to rotate back and help my team out against this pattern here. There we go. My allies are all dead in town, so my whole team is donezo. Wow. Wow, that's that's really cool. This is, a, this is one heck of a good team, boys. This is one heck of a good team. That's all I can say. 
It's me and Destroyer versus a 62 way and M48 Patton 0121. Oh, RTI2 is done getting himself briefed already. That's that's incredible. I don't think we're winning this one, boys. I don't. I, I don't even see where I'm supposed to push here. All I know is there is a 60 TP and a 121 and a pattern in front of me. So I guess we go for what's in front. All right, quick shot into the 121. Wow, I got scammed. I was trying to reload a few more shells here. I still have a TI2 for crossfire, right? No, he bounced his shot like a Pepega Andy. How could he do this to me? Oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my goodness. It's Jover. <laughs> it's so Jover. Why do we have to have Destroyer on our team? Destroyer of worlds, more like Destroyer of dubs. <laughs> I think I played that okay. The, the problem, I I legitimately don't know what my teammates were doing in spawn. Like, our, okay, our 62A was kind of a yikes. Obviously, Destroyer, is he like a 39 percenter? Oh, <gasps> what a guess. Wow, I was right on the money. Okay. Um, the TI2 only hit like two shots all game, and the Waffle only hit about two shots, which were, I think, were both mostly on the bat shot. They've done a little bit better late game there. Why did that make me down, Fosh? I was busy clearing out their team, our flank. I don't want to hear that, Mr. Foshipoo. Shaking my head. What's a Karo supposed to do versus a bunch of heavies in our frontline engagement? Not much. <laughs> so many campers in early game? Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, yes. This guy is capping. Definitely moved more tips on how to play Kara. I just... I... Who's capping? Who's capping? Who's capping in the house? This is World of Camper Splits. He destroyed you. <laughs> Who destroyed me? There's nothing to be destroyed, buddy. That game was just Jover. I was just hoping that TI2 would at least make one of them a one-shot. <laughs> <laughs> Where you have more gangster, you might win. Ain't no way. We are not, uh... We do not associate with this type of behavior. Mm. Okay, let's go med side. Hopefully. I do have a yo for support. Um, they have a Sheridan and a Object 140. Two tanks that I should be able to deal with somewhat decently in a Karo. Um, they also have a bunch of heavies, including the yo and stuff like that. So the 140 already spotted me because, you know, that tank has insane view range. Put a quick shot into the Sheridan here. There we go. Good stuff. Um, our chieftain is being quite aggro here, and, uh, wow. Well, not really sure what Mr. Yo's doing here, but hey, uh, let me in on that, too. What the heck, brother? Nah, that's just so not cool. Alright, punch shot towards Sheridan. Ah, yes, that's the snappy, uh, Karo gun handling that I'm used to. <laughs> By snappy, I mean not so snappy. Anyways, we're gonna pick up, like, one free kill here, and we maimed both of their meds, so... Things could definitely be a lot worse. Dude, why are you still trying to shoot at me? Just so not cool of you. There we go. Nice clear on that dude there. And let's see what we can do now. So Sheridan's just yoloing. Looks like our Kron and Yo are about to just get deleted in town. Um, not a huge surprise there. Maybe we can do a counter push to the middle of the map. The 183 is crossing. The BZ is also crossing. Um, 183 has not yet really noticed me. There is an E100 here though. That could be a bit of a... Bit of a problem, I think. All right, one APCR shell to him there. Hello, good sir. We do manage to uh, bait the C100 here. Nice, bring him to a one shot. Ooh, thankfully that 183 was not was not looking. Okay, 1600 damage dealt. We're halfway to our 3K mark. Let's go. Uh, we should be okay. As long as I dump one full magazine out before it's too late, I think we'll be fine. Okay, let's see. How's this gonna roll? Are Yo's gonna be like the first one to receive their YOLO on this side? Really? Okay, just not expecting that. Ah! Okay, sorry, I don't want to block you, dude. My bad if I bumped you there. Okay, the 183 is kind of pulling back here. Let's see, our chieftain's on that side. Me and the yo can hold this end pretty fine. You just have to watch out for Mr. 183, that's all. Quick shot. Nice, okay, nice, nice, nice. This BZ's blocking the 183's line of sight on us. This is perfect. I'll pick up a clear on him while I'm at it. Nice, all right. That was a good track set of track shots there, Kobe. <laughs> Kobe Bryant, 24. Let's go. What a Chad. All right. He's about to clear this dude, so I may as well put one shot in. 312. Wow. <laughs> Can we still get 4K damage, though? Is 4K still in the bag? It's just a dream, maybe. But it's a dream that could be true. Hello, good sir. You know what? I shall be the real one. And take a shot from you. Nice, yo. Nice, 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 nice. Easy as pie. And one more shot, please. Whee! 
4K, get the dub. Well played to the Yo's on my team there. Uh, at least the one that went Dunes with me, Kobe. Kobe did a good job there. <clears throat> I don't know, you double, you, yo, uh, yo double shot is OP. Yeah, I wouldn't say it's OP. It's a lot of fun and it's pretty darn good. Uh, but the three shot actually is, in my opinion, slightly more competitive just because of the DPM but being about 3,000 on, on a heavy with an auto loader is pretty insane, right? Um, GG to that, yo. Uh, Fanny, should I grind the E5 or the yo? Can I have some brief tips? Uh, both are good. Really, both are great. If you already have like a 57, though, I think for the most part, 57, you know, you can get by without having a yo. But also, if you already have like a Chieftain or Conqueror, Super Conqueror or an E6, maybe you don't need an E5 so much. Um,. I would say E5 is really strong, a little bit generic to play. Yo gives you a little bit more versatility because you can choose between the sweaty DPM gun or the kind of memes and two shot gun. Uh, so I still would recommend the Yo to some extent, but if you're looking for a more just like super reliable heavy, you can't go wrong with the E5. RNG watching the screw Fanus for fun by ricochet off the shot of the Yo and the med that run away and rolling the 183. <laughs> It is what it is. Did you see the Himmelsdorf rework? Now, I'm not 100% sure if that's a Himmelsdorf rework. Yes, I have seen it. I think we just might be getting a winter, uh, sorry, a summer variation of Himmelsdorf. Uh, if it is a rework, that's cool. It'd be kind of weird seeing winter Himmelsdorf vanish though, but I'll have to look into it. It's either a rework or they're just introducing another variant of the map, which, you know, they do that on PC. So they could maybe do that on Blitz, although Blitz doesn't really follow PC too closely. But Himmelsdorf is like pretty similar. <laughs> All right, see what we can do here. So one spot that I sometimes like to take, although it might not work, is like this weird little position here. So you're not overextended, but if anyone's lazy and crosses the bridge, you can get like a shot or two into them pretty early. Um, so I'm gonna spot here for now. They'll probably do the proper crossing. Yep, the two and five B also did the proper crossing. We'll see if anyone else crosses late and lazy. Okay, there's the there's the BZ68. The one to one B might poke here soon. It looks like he was getting ready to. Our 5A is going to be great bait here. So as long as the 5A is bait, I can sit above here and just kind of cover this end, maybe. Yeah, the 5A. Okay. I'm not really a fan of what my team's doing here. From from my personal experience, making this kind of um, low down push is usually not the best play. But it might be okay. It might be okay. It might be okay since my allies are um, all together. It looks like their whole team is also here. One thing we just do want to make sure we watch out for is that 4005. So let's put a quick shot in over here. There's the TI2. 4005 is not yet spotted. That's okay. 4005 just fired at me. So he's at that building. That's enough. That's probably where he is. I mean, I could be incorrect on that, but it's very likely that 4005 is by that building given where he just shot at me from. We will see though. We will see. Is Mr. 4005 over here or not? See, I don't want to make this outside push with the 4005 and TI2 in the back. It's probably just a bad idea. So, while our Sheridan's busy being a uh, diversion on the encounter cap, I'm gonna wait for this patent to pull all the way up, and then we can clip the patent when he goes for the resets on the cap here. That will be perfect for me. Hello, Mr. Patton. All right, one track shot to Mr. Patton. Sheridan even hitting a good shot through his mantlet there. My goodness. All right, that's a thousand damage and a clear. One to one's almost dead. 45 still unspotted. The only reason I'm playing the outside is because I've already confirmed the 405's rough positioning. Otherwise, I never would have. Uh, Really made those aggressive plays. Um, yeah, I think my team is. I think my team is winning this, guys. I think. I think they're gonna win this. I think they're gonna win this. All right, quick shot to this dude. There we go. There's the 405, and we'll just pull back from him. Whee! Yes, please, please poke all the way up from me. Yes, please do get sir. And you're trapped now. And now you have nowhere to run to. Okay, the yell's waiting for me, so let's not overextend there. 405's pulled back a little bit because now the 5A is just countering him. Nice. TI2's pushing up as well. I should be able to pull into safety here. Theory. Theory, I should be able to pull into safety here. Get a pull back, TI2. My mans. Very courteous of you. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. All right. There we go. He's a one shot now. 405 might be looking for me soon. Judging by a sped boost, he is definitely going to be doing that. Can't spot him though. So we'll stay back. Since I can't spot him. Yeah. There we go. Ooh. Don't tell me. He's going for that reset. You know what? I respect it. I do respect the reset lore. <laughs> the GI2 is just Narnia. Get the reset? Okay. I'll take it. Not the most exciting game. Very weird battle. I'm happy we won though. 
I am happy we won. <laughs> um, it's usually when your team goes A from that spawn, they get stuck there, crossfired out, and die. But fortunately, we had hill control the whole time, and so that worked to our advantage. Well played to the 62A there. Um, Conqueror. Okay. Wow. Amazing, dude. <laughs> Fanis, how are you so good? I'm not. I really am not. <laughs> but thank you. Hey, Fanis. Hello. How are we doing, Fanis? GG's on that game in the STB. I sold uh, with whiffing that shot on you and your E and your E3 HE me for 500. If I played better, I might have won. I'm not really sure what game you're talking about, but uh, GG. All right. As per usual, we're going to spot that early Krasin. Hmm. Although this time... It's not such a concern, the caves fight, because when we look at their lineup, they only have a 57 heavy, and other than that, they're mediums and lights, and most of them have really no armor. So I'm not as concerned about a cave fight this time. Um, it was more so like the, the early games. All right, quick shot maybe? Yeah, that's that's not a very snappy gun for you. All right, put the shot into this dude. Let's pull back before I take a shot from him. Interesting, the enemy Sheridan playing this really aggressively. Is he just doing this to tunnel me? Really? Really, dude? Where is the logic in this gameplay? Um, what's our E5 doing as well? And is that a 57 coming for me too? Holy smokes, man. It really is a 57 coming for me. All right, let's pull to a position where we won't be able to really eat me. Interesting plays by the enemy team here. Um, unfortunately, our E5 has become bait, but I am safe because I have a TVP for some degree of crossfire here. And this 57 heavy should not be able to keep Cole pushing on me. I mean, he could try, but I also have an E3 covering for me. So I, I personally wouldn't recommend it if I were him. All right, there's an enemy shared in there. 57's over here. My team is just still nowhere to be found, really. All right, let's see. Nice. I'm just a little bit cautious right now about getting counter yellowed by the 57 or anyone else else that's down low. Wait, are we losing caves as well? Hmm. Uh, the TVP being alive in caves could be problematic, but I'm almost one clippable to the 57. It's my main primary concern right now. Okay, nice. Okay, we're clearing out the top side. Let's see. Oh, of course, that is some unlucky timing. Double track shots, nice. I gotta like bait him into trying to shoot me. Or is he, is he reloading his mag? I can't tell. Okay, he did go for the mag reload. I figured he'd go for the mag reload, which is why I decided to counter push him immediately. All right, Mr. E3, anyone want to cover me here? Yep, at least I was able to predict that E5 would go for the mag reload there in 57. You, you gotta sometimes make those predictions because if I'd waited to reload my full magazine, he might've been able to reload his before I could have made a proper play here. Okay. So here's what we're gonna have to do. We're gonna have to play this. We're gonna have to play this tight, boys. We're gonna have to play this nice and tight. Hopefully no one comes in from behind me. That's gonna be my primary concern. This is a very uh, familiar moment, feeling moment right now. Me just holding here. Okay, so the TVP was able to kill our prawn, which means the TVP is not in our spawn anymore. The Fortress 2 would probably still be in the vicinity, though. Spot anyone from here? Okay, there's the Fort 202. Track shot and pull down into safety. Nice, making him pretty low. He's almost one shot to E3 now. My primary concern still is going to be the dudes in our spawn here. Let's aim this one in thoroughly. Alrighty. Ready to pull up at a moment's notice. <laughs> okay, that's not what I was hoping for. Oh my gosh, he tracks me. Of course. Of course. He definitely wasn't even aiming for a track shot. E3, your full hit points. You let the one E3 push right in front of you. It's players like this, man. What has our full HP E3 been doing this whole time? Like, <laughs> dang it, if the 422 hadn't been lucky to hit a track shot there. <laughs> <laughs> if I was that 422, I would have gone for the HG. At least I could have dropped all the way down, and their 422 would have had to overextend the trench shoot at me. But oh my goodness, look at this NPC. His name is Gorgine. <laughs> mm.
What? What am I looking at in chat? It's me, Harry. Haha. Ha, ice locked. You melon. But for. <laughs> Holy crap! That sweater is ugly. Oh my goodness, brother. Oh, how am I gonna take that damage? Oh, that one hit me hard. <laughs> Sheridan get attention and spotter kind of risk and disturbing also. Yeah, that Sheridan was kind of a cracked play by him. <laughs> and they are called teammates, indeed. Fattis, thank you. Uh, um, I asked for a caster one week ago. Hey, there you go. Perfect, perfect time. Put Bobby in charge. Shaking my head. I need Bobby to take control of, the, of this E3 here. It's probably going to end up being a draw if they can't kill him. Go figure. Go figure. What is going on in chat, though? I wasn't even paying attention. First time watching the lies. Greetings from Romania. Hello, Andre. Greetings, greetings. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, no. Sir? And you're dead. Three, two, one. Wow. Wow. This this E3 sucked. Big time. He just had to cover me. I don't know why he was even sitting above in counter cap. He just had to kind of like pull back or cover me. Oh my god. Brother! Brother! What the... Zero damage! Ah! Oh, uh, well, I guess well played to their 183. He seems to have cooked up the top side pretty well there. Even though I had to clear the 57 out myself. Um, it got yellowed by the Sheridan. And then had to deal with the TVP. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Ah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that E3. <laughs> Truly a Pepega moment. Indeed. Welcome to the fat chat. <laughs> so sad. Zero damage. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, my. Riz reject talking. Carol, my favorite tank of all time. It's a pretty chill tank. What was bro cooking? I don't know. 42% winner, 50k battles. Yeah, well, I mean, that tends to happen. Oh, no. That's the platina Keros. That's really going to actually blow. Um, me and a WZ and a prog. Ay, ay, ay. Do I even really want to take the medium side fight? Oh, my whole team's going med side, though. I guess? I guess I'll go for the early spotting run, at least, if nothing else. Um, although it looks like our WZ Light's gonna take that, but let's see if I can work around him. We might be able to work around him just a bit here. Alrighty, APCR. Gun's not very accurate, so I missed that one, unfortunately. So it does look like most of their team is headed on up over towards this side of the map here. Hello! Woo! Bouncing the Baja off of my mantlet there. Okay. Uh, anyways, let me think at this through thoroughly. I think probably the smartest play for me right now would be to actually just assist my teammates over on the front. Maybe. Flanking might be smarter, actually, but I don't want to flank until unspotted tanks, so I'm going to just pull on up over here, see if I can provide some assistance from this back position. All right, the concept is kind of overextendo. Quick shot to him. 323 is a bit of a low roll, but not the end of the world. Okay, so there's the enemy's Kranwagen. Um, we have 257s holding hall down here. The Karos could rotate out if I get spotted in the wrong positioning. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I think our WZ Light is actually getting counter pushed here. So let me see if I can just move up and assist this poor fool. I might take one from the Baja. If we do, it's not the end of the world. There we go. Okay, teammates, y'all y'all gotta be a little bit more helpful than this, man. Y'all gotta be just a little bit more proactive than this. I'm gonna help you out, Mr. K Mr. WZ Light. Let's see what I can do to provide you some assistance here. Can you get safe, buddy? Can you get safe? Nice, let's wait for this Kron to overextend. Kron has thoroughly overextended. Now I have 500 HE alpha, so we don't ro low roll this. You got him? Okay. If we don't low roll this, 500 HE alpha rolls 440. It's one thing about the Karo, I've noticed it. It's kind of a mega low roller. For 380 alpha, like, dude, I've gotten so many low 300 rolls in this tank. It's kind of a, kind of a nuisance. But anyways, we managed to clear out that Kron. I think that was the right rotation. I wasn't really doing a whole lot on the heavy side. Um, or on the med side there. So I kind of had to make that rotation in order to assist my teammates. Now, the real problem here is going to be this one suit is this Badger. Now, I'm not proxied. That's the good news. 
So I just need this dude to back up. I need the badger to overextend, but you're not going to win a gun depression fight versus a badger. Mm, I don't know how I feel about that, man. I do not know how I feel about that. However, if I can start farming out these carols, that'll be huge for my allies as well. Let's see if we can kill this dude at least. Almost, almost. Not able to kill him quite, but we almost got him. The only foreseeable problem right now would be this 1 2 1 yellowing in for me. Yeah, he's definitely going to go for the yellow here. He has his sped boost on and everything, you can always tell. Whee! Alrighty, buddy. Here's how, here's how this is going to work. We're going to track you. You're going to bounce a shot off of me. We're going to put a... Of course, the badge roll is 500. Okay. How is, uh, how is my team doing over here? Let's see. I basically cleared one of the Karos for them. The Badger, the 121, and the Kron were all on me. Um, yeah, this is just... My gosh, man. What's the point of taking your heavies to the side if you're not going to push all the way up? You just all sit and spawn and over. Oh, boy. Come on. Oh, oh my gosh. What am I watching? I thought the Badger was going to keep pulling forward. Didn't think he was going to pull all the way through the back there. If he had rolled 500, maybe I could have done something about it. I guess I could have just face hugged the 1 to 1 B and dumped a full mag into him. Yeah, die, Badger. Die! Okay. Will we win? Will we win, though? There's a 1 2 1 B still free farming the flank. And this dude might die, even to the concept. We're all like one shots here, except for a Giga Chad and the 183, who's not a one shot. I respect it. Do they have what it takes, though? Okay, okay, okay. 57. Oh my gosh. No, our 183 is in a terrible position now. No other 57 is just going to die to the 1 2 1 B and spawn. I think it's Joe over late. Oh, now you notice you have a crossfire to help our 183 out. Our 183 just threw. He shouldn't have tried to flank through the river with the concept there. Oh my goodness. What am I watching? What am I watching? This NBZ behavior. <laughs> like we had a WZ light. We cleared out the full HP Kron. We, we took the, the Badger's HP down and, and we even were holding off the 1 to 1B for most of that game. That's crazy. If the E3 can get an HE here, maybe. This is just... Oh my god, our E3 died. It's Jover, boys. It's 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 all Jover. It's up to our it's up to our 57 heavies. And this dude's getting farmed at the Butechiks. Will he have it? Will he have what it takes? One pen! Two pen! Can he hit a third shot? No, he's not fast enough on the reload, and that's Jover. Wow. Wow. Yeah, this is why I don't really like committing med side on this map, to be honest. <laughs> Watch this dude pull like the ultimate clutch of the century. I doubt he will. Unfortunately, his reload's too long. Um, but it would be kind of funny if he managed to get the dub here. It'd honestly be super funny. We will see. We will watch and see. Will Achilles... <laughs> will Achilles get the W? That's the real question. And nope, he will not. <laughs> see, I would have been pre-aiming right, but maybe I should have told him that in the chat. Daddy, do you miss comp at all? Not really. I only played comp because I had a good team and we were all like super chill. So that was fun. Yeah, I did what I could. Somehow I did second the top there. Well played to their concept. You know, just sitting there hauled down all game. 500 damage, 57 heavy. 1900 damage, 57 heavy. At least one of them did like 2k, but dude, the other 57 did 500 damage. You know, the crazy part is when our whole team was there, we pretty easily could have counter pushed them. Um, and cleared out that side, but no one was moving. It was just a complete stalemate on heavy, on med side. <clears throat> Joke over? Jover? Ah, it's just Jover. Jover. Ask Joe the meaning of Jover. Those teammates are a diabolic. <laughs> like what that are well your teams get deleted in three or, or three three or less minutes. That sounds about right. I mean at least it was a prolonged game. Unfortunately, I was not there to capitalize on the prolonged game. Maybe I should have just killed the badger. When he when he killed a WZ, maybe I should have just yolo the badger and killed him. But I was like, oh, my my allies are in a bit of a stalemate on that side. Let me just try and like clear out that Carol. Naturally, because the Carol loves me so much, I low rolled both shots on him. So I ended up not clearing the Carol and basically brought myself to a one shot as a result. That badger was pretty lucky. His gun handling isn't even all that good. Um but yeah, for WZ Light, hadn't just sat there tried to shoot a uh, badger that would clearly have a gun depression advantage on him, we might have been fine. I was kind of banking on that dude staying alive so we could like double team the badger, but then he just, he don't got himself killed for no reason, which kind of sucks. All right, anyone over here? Yes, sir. Let's shoot the WZ Light for starts. 
Hello, WZ Light. Take two shots. They're 350 and 350. I do 703 damage, but I have a... Okay, really? Really? Really, guys? You're just gonna let this TVP make such a... Absolutely silly play there? What was... This? What's the TVP even thinking? He made that whole play just to do one shot of damage. Like, huh? One shot. Come on, boys. Time to push the TVP. Yeah, okay. Now you've bounced another shot, dude. But it, well, look at look at this dude. L l what is our man's doing here? Anyways, I can't really pull back. That's the problem. Um, there's a lot of heavies over in the middle here. Well, maybe maybe we can make this the big sneaky escape. Well, the 405 is not even over here. Nice. Okay, we were able to make the big sneaky escape. All right, guys, time to start moving. Hello, what are we doing over here? Bro. Trading with the TVP is not the smart flip. Don't you just love the TVP, guys? Don't 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 you just love that tank? Don't, don't tell me he has a third. Oh my gosh, dude. Okay, so can my allies just like do now you move, dude? Oh my gosh. Running armor is point. Yeah, I'm so happy Wargaming buffed this tank's armor profile. So when I'm using gun depression at an angle like that, the TVP is still able to bend through the front of the turret with AP shells. That's crazy. Thank you, Wargaming, for nuking this tank's mobility to a degree so you can bounce, like, 2% more shots, basically. My gosh. I was barely giving that TVP any time, but the problem is not, no one on my team is, like, moving. It's a huge problem. Alright, let's push on to this TVP here. Our prog is still sitting back. Dude, I... What? Our super conqueror spawn snipe? Yeah, this is just Jover. This game's just Jover. Ay, 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 ay. I thought my allies would actually push on the TVP once I spotted them up. I mean, they're both just sitting on a... Like, the prog just had to push to that corner. He had free shots on him. Now I'm going to have to play a super defense game. Defensive game back here. Am I spotted? I might be. Indeed, we are. Okay. Am I not... Am I just, like, not going to low roll for once? What? Oh my gosh, whatever was on in Yeah, it's just Jover. Thank you, Prague. Thank, thank you, Vinny2022. And, uh, the, the TVP. I don't know why none of them... They just had to pull down this ridge and they could have killed that TVP there. Like, my gosh, we had to clear med side out there and none of them were moving. Ay ay ay. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yes, this dude did 600... 116,000 games. 116,000 battles, and this dude is still playing like that, done 600 damage. And this, this, this prog here, okay, he's a genuine noob, like, he actually doesn't have that many games, I will give him credit. I don't think armor is making much of a difference. I wanted to experiment to see if armor would improve the turret at all. It's not doing anything for the turret, it really isn't. This thing still has too little turret armor. You have to be using, like, full 9 degrees of gun depression, I think, for it to even be auto ricochet. Saw some TikTok lives on Blitz. I lost a few brain cells. Oh my goodness. Всем привет. Хорошего настра... Настроения. Спасибо, спасибо. Привет, привет. Um... All the wrinkles call you an eight. I already much. I, what is going on in chat? Girl, I caught you. Ah, what are you guys going on about? Y'all, chill in chat. Chill. There's no need to be too molded about it. I don't even know what's happening in chat, but it seems like y'all are going a little too crazy down there. My goodness. Yeah. I mean, this is definitely the Karo experience. Although, to be fair, it is technically my fault that the TVP penned all those shots. I genuinely did think, though, at the time that with enhanced armor and the TVP's terrible standard pen, that he wouldn't be able to just auto-pen, especially with me using gun depression there. But that was a mistake. That was that was, uh, that was a mistake. Now, now we know. The more you know, right? Um, even a TVP can butter this Karo turret, in running enhanced armor and everything. All right. Ooh, we hit those. Nice. All right. It was a valuable learning experience. I guess that's all I can say about it. All right. Nice. We did not low roll for once. <laughs> Let's go. All right. This 268's got to get out of here eventually, right? He's, he's got it. He's totally got to get out of here eventually. Nice, he gets taken out. This has been quite the interesting YOLO rush by the enemy team on heavy side. Fortunately, we have um, a mouse here that's just kind of just keeping them at bay, so that's huge. 
We will need to push in here to start farming though before all of my allies are dead, which most of them are on this side. But you know what? Mr. Mousy Poo stayed alive just long enough to give us the support we needed on this side. Alrighty. Hello, good sir. I'm just gonna take the trade there. I think that's a fine trade. Uh, what's not a fine trade is the fact that I'm gonna have a 5A yellowing up on me soon. And an E100. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. You wonder's not paying attention. Huge, 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 huge. Put on Mr. 5A. Wait, are you telling me my tank's stuck here? Are you telling me my tank- Oh yeah, there's like a little gap in the wall. That's crazy. Hello, sir. Now we push across. Yay. All right, give me them field tanks. No field tanks? Shaking my head. <gasps> no repair kit? Shaking my head. <laughs> I'll take 3.7 there. That's fine. Ugh! Uh... What is this? What is even happening in chat? I don't even know what is going on in chat anymore. Finest minor mods? Apparently none of them are on right now. And I kind of lazy the mod. As long as things don't get too crazy, I will uh, delete chats as necessary or bland ban people as necessary. You can farm by flanking. If you're good enough, you can farm by flanking. Uh, are you talking about it at E3? I'm not sure about that one, Chief. I don't think flanking in E3 is always going to work out to your tank's advantage given, you know, the characteristics of an E3. Woo! Spicy early shots. Nice. But I do I do really I do genuinely enjoy the Caro. It's it's a good tank. Even even when your teams are a little bit um uncool, as long as the gun is working, it's a very good tank. Alright. So that's what crossfires don't have to worry about. T30 will be up over here. Car uh, can anyone's enter the town? The Conqueror is stock, so I'm not really as worried about him. Okay, there is the push onto this man's ear. What's the yellowing through? So, oh my gosh, it's not another one. Please. Please not again. The last thing I want to deal with is another one of these piggies yellowing me. Alrighty. So apparently the TVP just has better armor than me. Although this time I'm above the TVP, so this time I might actually be chilling. Come on, give me that HE side. No HE side, I'll just wait out two shots loaded in though. Bop. And where are you going, buddy? Nice. All right, so TVP down. Let's go. Why am I actually bouncing shots when I'm not running armor in this tank? I don't understand. <laughs> Maybe the extra 100 HP makes a big difference. All right, and there's the WZ. T30 is probably still in the mid. Oh, T30 rotated all the way back. Oh, wow, that's a very interesting play by the enemy team. Let's focus out the K91 first, if possible. And you know what? We might even have time to kind of reload some of our shots here. Maybe not. Okay. Um, I got a bigger brain idea, actually. I need to get over here quickly. And I need to kind of push the T30 and the VK while they're isolated. That is the plan, boys. And it's a solid one. Alrighty. Nice. First, we'll start off by clearing out Mr. VK here. And then we'll start HG Mr. T30 here. Please don't hit that. That'll just be mean. Thank you. Nice, getting that little ricochet. So here's where the turret armor is actually being pretty effective. Dang right. Track shot. Oh, he used the repair kit the moment I fired. That's unfortunate. Clear. All right, 4.8k damage dealt. Nice. I think we've cooked up pretty well this game. We should be about 5k with the fires included. Um, hmm. Now that dude's going to die before I can really farm him out, I think. Just looking at him plays is very suggestive of his lack of abilities. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh my. Oh my, oh my. What the heck is that, RNG? Okay, okay, okay. I see how it is. I see how it is. I was having too much of a goaded run in this tank. Now RNG says, no, you. You shall not farm damage, sir. Okay, I get it. I get it. 
Oh, we got a wild WZ being quite aggressive up here, don't we? Which way is he gonna look? Two shots of Mr. WZ here. Here for those fuel tanks, maybe. Two shots. Do we finish him off here? I don't trust my RNG in this tank, so you know what? Let's reload. I just don't trust the RNG in this vehicle. I'm just gonna let myself reload here. Okay. Sorry, I'm on a three. I'm just reloading some shots here. Lovely. Nice. Six and a half thousand damage. Pretty easy. Let's go. Not a bad game. That was a very wacky battle, though. I will admit. Very, very wacky battle. Uh, thank you, Haxi. Thank you. Thank you. Is fatness Chinese? Interesting take. St stop spamming. Let fantasy. Fatness, you're Chinese. Coco. None this guy. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, it's almost wow, that was almost 7,000 damage. Okay, I didn't even pay I wasn't even paying attention. Maybe I should have yelled sooner for more damage. I could have got 7k out that game. Um surprisingly good farm battle. Wow, okay. Uh douche, thank you for moderating. Uh you may as well just ban this Coco dude. He's I think he was the E3 for that one battle, and he is just causing too much trouble in chat, so feel free to ban douche. I don't care. Actually, you know what? I'll ban him myself. Uh, where am I? Ugh. Thanos time. Click. <laughs> Farewell, Coco. Farewell. 6.9k game. That's not bad. Bruh. Not Clyde. Thank you for the $5 donation. Do appreciate it. My gosh. So shrimple. It's as shrimple as that douche. It's as shrimple. Hello, dog. Thank you for coming in and um, cleaning up the chat for me while I was busy sweating myself to death that battle. Do appreciate it. No, no, fatness. No, no. No more entertainment for you. We, we get enough of that type of entertainment on my Discord server. Trust. Trust. It, my Discord server can be some, cr some crazy stuff can happen sometimes. Okay, this dude's hogging the good position at the bush, so... I'm just going to rotate out, um, as I don't really see any value in me being stuck there right now. Hopefully no one's there. Blink. We'll see. Did I get spotted for that? That will let me know. I do not. So maybe their team's all going up top. We will see. <laughs> Bork. Hey! If it isn't a wild dragon. Hello, hello, hello. Oh. Eh? What's with that late crossing? 6.9k game. That was not bad, bruh. Hmm. You know, this tank's kind of, I'm glad I didn't commit to crossing there. This tank's kind of a, kind of a juicer for those long game farms. That's all I can say. Like, like it, it definitely struggles in faster environments, but you get this tank into a slightly prolonged battle and it's actually pretty darn good. All right. I'm spotted, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna risk poking that for much longer. Good stuff. Waffenträger is moving up a bit here. STB might be giving me some shots in a moment. Okay, the STB is kind of just hogging this corner here. Do we hit those? We missed it completely. Yay. Yeah, we missed it completely. That's crazy. I don't want to overextend here. I know. It looks like I'm just sitting in spawn sniping. I'm sorry. This is some lousy, lousy tier gameplay. My bad, my bad. I should still be unspotted, but the STB is doing the right thing and taking it easy. Can't blame him. Uh, let's see if I can spot anyone from here. Mr. T30 maybe. No T30 spooted. Hmm. Do I really want to make a counter rotation somewhere around here? Oi, oi, oi. Back up a little bit more. Oi. Uh. Ah, I wasn't in position to shoot there fast enough. Okay. I'm still trying to figure out what play I want to make here. I think we killed the 60 TP and the VK. I'm just waiting for stuff to cook up a little bit, you know? A little bit of cookery. Mm, I got spotted. Come on, heavies. Let's push the top side before our med side falls apart. Please and thank you. Oh, I missed my opportunity to shoot that man's. <sighs> my heavies are taking their sweet old time pushing this side here. Okay, they're finally pushing, but in retrospect, I need to help our Karo here. And our Karo's gonna get counter pushed himself, which will not feel very good, to say the least. All right, one shot into the prog here. Not quite able to hit the second one, but uh, I am able to at least prevent 
him for pushing onto our Kara. Well, that's not going to work out very favorably for me. And here's where I get out of here. All my team's in the mid. I'm sorry, Waffle. You're one shot. I can't trust you to be the best support in this environment. So please excuse me while I make my rotation back through the enemy spawn and hopefully can help our mouse. Maybe our Yag Tiger as well. Uh, this is not looking good for my team. They're taking way too long to clear out that side. Yeah. This is taking way, way too long. Yeah, it's, 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 it's completely Jover now, boys. It's completely Jover. Whee! I accept my fate, ladies and gentlemen. I accept my fate. <laughs> Maybe I was a little too passive in our spawn. Um, I probably was. I I didn't think... Uh, I think our patent like YOLO'd all the way through mid into their spawn and I wasn't expecting that. So I didn't think we were going to lose med side all that quickly. So a bit of a misplay on my part. But I mean, I kind of did what I could there. But if I'd been a little more... Oh, wow. T3 got the rack on the mouse. That's pretty rare. Uh, if I'd been a little more proactive there, maybe we could have won that. More, more proactive on covering the med side. Or, ideally, I should have just pushed heavy side very quickly there. I should have... I, I wanted to push heavy side, but I was torn between pushing heavy side and abandoning med side. Like, I wanted to cover med side, but I also wanted to push med si uh, heavy side, so I wasn't really uh, um, making a quick decision there. If I'd made one of the two decisions, I think we could have probably won that. I was just hesitating a little too long. I'm no mod. Fatness banned him himself. <laughs> and man shaking my head. Where's the wrench in blue name? Hey, fans, hope you see this message. I want to tell you you're my biggest inspiration. My name is... Okay. <laughs> I played battles with you, so please accept my friend request. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, I'm not so sure about that one, Chief. <laughs> I don't know if you're an impersonator or a secondary account from the same person for earlier. You already did 7k. Do 7k challenge. I did 7k and 6.8k so far. I mean, we've been kind of cooking up in the Caro. I wouldn't say my win rate's super high in it today. Maybe like 60% or so. Um, which kind of tends to be the issue of the Caro, sometimes. Dang it, I was, uh, looking at chat and not paying attention, and I totally just let that batch up climb for free. How silly of me. So, where's my support? Oh, my team's going the opposite side of the map. That's never a good sign, man. That is never a good sign. Oh my gosh, what are my allies doing? Oh gosh, they're the, they're the types that climbed the wrong side of the hill. Everyone's favorite experience on this map. Come on, dude. You can't be that. You can't be... Oh, wait. The bat shot's yeeting off the hill. <gasps> that is big news for me. Hey, K91. You gonna sit here all game, buddy? Are you, are you just gonna sit here all game long? You're gonna let the E5 climb the hill for free now? Hey, buddy. You've taken a two for zero trade, my dude. That's pretty, uh, that's pretty unfortunate for you, ain't it? Okay, we kind of have a, a, have a somewhat decent idea of where their 183 is at. He's, he's over on that corner. Oh, wait, no, no, no. The 183 is not even on the hill anymore. Okay. So that's the Waffenträger. I'm pretty positive. I'm going to go climb the hill now because that's going to be really valuable for my allies. If you would mind, E5, not sitting in the open and getting me shot and stalling in the worst position possible... Climb the hill or don't climb the hill. Make up your mind. You silly E5. It just took, like, so much damage I didn't have to here. Thanks to this... Thanks to this Pepega Andy over here. Anyways, we can maybe bait them into poking us. At least we do have hill control for the time being. Well, there is a 140 in our spawn, so I don't know how I feel about that. Hmm. I just gotta keep covering this side, to be honest. Oh, the BZ's running the derp. Good to know. Love the full mag, love the full mag, love the full mag. Come on, cover fire, anyone. Just a little bit of cover fire is all I request. We can kill the 140 at least, right? Yeah, I don't know how this is going to work out, boys. Woo! Woo! <laughs> We're playing a little game of uh, peek-a-boom over here. E5, why? You didn't have to do that, my dude. Oh my goodness. All right, one shot to this man's here. If I take one shot from this BZ, it's Jover for me, because that canadian one's just going to yellow up and clip me. Yeah, 
This is such a stalemate. It's boring. Boring as heck. Also, I have a 1A3 climbing up on my other side. Oh my goodness, what is my team doing here? Come on, BZ. You're, you're chilling. You're, you're free to push up on me now. My goodness, this team, man. E5 blocks me from pushing to the position I wanted to take, which is the right side of the hill. So I had to climb the left side. He also made me take an extra 700 damage there from the K91. E5 does a terrible job covering, sits there and dies. My NPC teammates decide to YOLO and counter cap, which, like... <laughs> How many times do I have to say this? This is the oldest map in the game. It's the oldest map. It's been here since the tutorial. The beta stage tutorials, along with, um, along with maps like Copperfield, but Copperfield isn't even in tier 10, it's tier 7 up or low, as mine should be. But you think people would understand by now, it's, it's been, this map's been out for 10 years, and it's, it was changed a little bit back in like 2017, or 2016, I think. Yeah, it was late 2016, it got a, a rework, but fundamentally, the gameplay's been the same. Don't YOLO past and counter cap, hold the entrance of hill, try and have your meds hold hill. <laughs> <laughs> the ultimate mines experience. I think I played fine at the entrance of hill covering it, but like, yeah, the problem there is I, I just don't understand why so many players are keen on just yellowing through encounter cap and getting themselves killed. And the self-awareness award goes to basically. <laughs> the self-awareness award goes to everyone on my team who uh, went the wrong way. Oh, ooh. Hmm. Let's see, are they even sending tanks this way? Yep, they sure are. Track shot. Oh, come on. I fully aimed that one in. Nah, that's a joke, right? Anyways, they have an E3 coming this way. I think Zibashathion is like... Okay, actually, no, we have a two... Nah, nah, nah. We can bait them. We can bait them. We can bait them. Um, We have some heavies coming this way, after all. Oh, hi. Hello, Mr. E3. Maybe I should have just ran away, to be honest. If an E3 and a Karo both decide to pull, 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 pull a YOLO on me, that's just Jover. So maybe I should have just pulled out. I don't know. We will see. Can I spawn anyone at least? Anyone? Hello? No. Okay, so I got a 263 here. Problem would be the enemy's T110 E3, who I guarantee is still just chilling over here. All right, one more shot to the Karo. The more shots I can get into this Karo, the better it is for me. Wait for this E3 to fire. E3 just shot. One, two. Ah, that's not what I wanted. Okay. Ay, ay, ay. Hello, Mr. Caro. Ah, oh, this Caro gun, man. It's just not good for snapshots like that. Let's see, what do I got covering my rear? Nothing, really. I might have to just, like, take the L and YOLO the Caro eventually. Oh, nice. Carol's getting Carol's getting countered, actually. That's huge. Oh, he's getting mega countered. That's uber huge. All right. One shot into the yo here. Nice 263. Let me clear him out. Huge. All right. We're good now. We're good now. Now I can kind of just counter push the Carol. Yep, with the 263 support. Hello, Mr. E3. Please allow me to just sit here and HE you. Please max roll. Not quite. 480. Dang, that's a low roll if I've ever seen one. Let's reload the mag for a moment. <laughs> oh, that's where the BZ's at. Oh, I see, I see. Okay. Excuse me, Mr. E100. I'll be the I'll be the bait here. I'll take the shots. <laughs> I'm on a reserve shell. Kill him. My man. My man. Give me one more shot onto this crown, please. Oh, oh, HE. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh. What? I have been scamiosed. Hello, Kron. I'll just keep him in place here while our Yag kills him. Hello, good sir. How do you, how do? You do? <laughs> uh. 
<laughs> eh, 4.2k. I'll take her 4.1k damage. Not too shabby. Luckily, I got the farm late game. Oh my gosh, come on. Who is this man that's just inventing? Oh, it is time for Thanos to hide the user. Be gone. If you're in here to just cause a ruckus in chat and, and just be an, a, a general moron for want of a better word, then you're just going to get banned and banned over and over again. So just call just call, call quits. Also, a dude, just like <laughs> stop facilitating. Just ignore him. My gosh. There you go. Whoever banned ape. Uh, that was me. And uh, Haxi looks like Haxi just yeeted the other dude or timed him out. Like, come on, guys. Come on. This is not a banana measuring contest in chat. Like, if y'all want to do that, then go, like, give yourselves your Discord tags and, and battle it out in DMs. I really don't care to see it. And I, I think most people here don't care to see it either. All right. One quick shot to this man's. All righty. What else do we got here? We have a wild 215B. There's also a Karo here who is kind of being a little aggressive. I wasn't able to hit that one. Skill issue, I suppose. Or one to What the heck? This is Karo doing. This Karo is being one aggressive puppy. Okay. Ooh, wait, 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 wait. There we go. And Karo's eating in. I'm gonna put a shell into him. I'm willing to take a trade there in order to help our KPZ 50 here, who is, um, well, Karo's making an interesting play. Let me tell another shell on the one there. I'm on, I'm on a long reload, so probably shouldn't poke again. We've already done almost 1,500 damage, or just over 1,500 damage. Let's see. Does this batch have a spawn liner? We're about to find... Look at that. Do you know how far down in the reticle that shot had to go to miss? That's crazy. That's just, that's just genuine. I'm genuinely just confused. Okay. That was just a, a El Bozumus RNG momento if I've ever seen one. Anyways, let's reload the full magazine here. Hmm. Aye, aye, aye. There we go. Nice. Pretty decent roll there, too. What? Oh, my goodness. I'm botting out, guys. <laughs> that was cringe, Fanis. And it's play Big Boss. It is cringe. Of course, it's cringe, dog. That's the whole point. <laughs> This isn't the anti-cringe league. All right, let's see. What can we do about this Caro and Bashantheon or this BZ here? Oh, come on. I've had enough of this tank's gun trolling me. I'll pick up the clear there. Nice. Alrighty. What do we got here? So 268's full HP. Lovely. Um, Chieftain's nearly dead. Let's wait till we reload our full magazine first, though. That's probably the smart play. Hmm, that's not very cool, is it? Not a very gamer of you. Okay, you know what? This 268 is going to be more of an issue for me. That's more of my primary concern right now. They have two one-shot heavies here. That's the good news. Bad news is they still have a Yag Cream in this corner, and I got a 268 now pushing in on my side here, and I got a Batch Hatch to shoot me here. At least I was able to deal with the bat chat and the 2 and 5B and whoa, 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 whoa. No, of course he gets my tracks. No. Track shot. I'm still very dead though. Dude, okay. Oh, missed M1816 here. Thank you so much for the assistance. You're on full hit points. Um, And you still did absolutely nothing. Okay, wow. Also, how did our, uh, he could win this in theory. Nah, he's not winning this. <laughs> he is not winning this. Oh my goodness. What was this team? <laughs> if I got most of the miss uh, misses Refined are gun. fully aimed. Most of these misses for the are donation. fully aimed. Uh, perhaps. Perhaps I'll try changing up the equipment just for experimentation reasons. Dang it. We had a full HP Fosh there too, man. I was hoping you'd try out a little bit more assistance. Oh, well. <clears throat> Maybe play too aggressive. Maybe a little aggro late game. Although, to be fair... Okay, what's with these Mystic players doing, like, less than a thousand damage or less? This is the second time I've had one of my team that did almost nothing. All right. 
Um, maybe I was a little too aggressive there late game. That's true. Although, to be fair, at the time, I, I saw we had a full HP Fosh. I'm like, okay, if the 268 transfer him back, the Fosh will just, you know, clear him out, basically. Um, and I still had another tank behind me. So, yeah, a little too aggressive. Maybe I should have just YOLO'd for the kill on the two heavy tanks there and just accepted taking a shot for the Yag. That probably would have been fine. But, like, once again, I had two teammates kind of just behind me and one of them was full HP. I thought they would have pulled up by then, so that was a bit of a mistake on my part. I didn't realize he was the type that just, like, parks and spawn and doesn't move. <laughs> Where's freedom of speech? Bro, this is an actual kid. Freedom of speech? What are you talking about? This channel's a dictatorship. We ban whoever we want, whenever we want, because we want, and how we want. <laughs> howdy from the... Howdy from Wandering Bigfoot. Oh, hello. Hello. You should make a good team. You should make a good team. Uh, first, I need people to be on the team. Also, I have no support on this side. Actually, I have plenty of support on this side. What am I kidding? All right, let's see if we can spot the heavies crossing up first. Get some early shots in on anyone who might be slowly, lazily crossing here. There we go. Quick APCR shot to the E3 for starts. Lovely. The E3 didn't even spot me at first. That's cool. All right, another shot to the E3. Lovely. E3 is nearly dead now. That's great. Okay. Well, this E3 should probably die, I would think. I mean, the way he's driving, I wouldn't be surprised. And I have all my allies pushing on in with me now. What the heck is my man's doing? That's some aggressive, aggressive levels of gameplay there. If I say so myself. All right. Okay, quick shot to the 140 there. You got to hug that ridge if you're going to make that peak. I usually would not recommend a peak like that. Um, however, it worked out in this case. Hmm. The 405 can't even poke that. Oh, it's... It, oh, my... He tried. He tried. I respect him for at least trying. He tried to poke it. It didn't work out in his favor. Get him, Chief. Hello, good sir. Yeah, that probably wasn't the best trade, Caro. Probably was not the best trade in the world for you, my dude. I don't even know what I'm watching anymore. This game has just been full of uh, Pepega Andes left, right, and center. <laughs> Bounce off me. Bounce off me, boy. Hey, yo. What you doing, buddy? Who gave you permission to rotate around like that? safe here for the clear. Ah, I should have known the concept. I should have been greedy for damage and save the shot, but I wanted to not risk it. <clears throat> oh, actually, I was actually hit my repair kit. How silly of me. Okay. Hello, Mr. IS-7. I'm just going to act like I'm driving away to, to bait him into not paying attention to me. All right. Fully loaded. Three, two, one. Boom. Here's where we farm our damage, ladies and gentlemen. Some of it, at least. Beasy, you stole my kill. <laughs> Purple now. Hey, let's go, Maria. 24 month membership. Let's go. You got that super uni level membership tier. A dog, where'd your membership go? Shaking my head, it expired. <laughs> Unlucky, unluckimus maximus dog. Oh my goodness. Okay, okay. I think we did all right there, all things considered. Um, after kind of throwing the previous game, which was a skill issue part on my on my bed. Almost two years ago, I uninstalled this game, and I'm glad I never installed it back. <laughs> Fatty. <laughs> oh my goodness. Missing so many snaps. Supercharge will help. Uh, maybe missing snaps is it shell velocity though or is it just the dispersion being rat i'm not really sure team help lml i don't know uh gun is more troll on caro or prog um personally i feel the gun on the caro is a little bit more troll than the progetto although i know it technically has like better like i guess it has better um dispersion on the rotation of the turret but the progetto has better like everything else dispersion wise so i think the prog's gun just feels a little bit better and also the prog's just a lot faster than the caro um but then again the prog doesn't hit nearly as heavy so you know there's also that little difference there too um also i did get spotted interesting also there was already a tree knocked over which is telling me they have some 
Uh, they already have some tanks that crossed. Not a huge fan of this map. Uh, especially when they have three 210 tank destroyers and my teammates are in 50Bs and 57s. So they're not going to be able to hold mid very easily. So we'll just have to see how this rolls out, I guess. Right, there's the there's the E. Yeah. That's more of a dispersion thing than a shell velocity thing, let's be honest. That was a, a crazy shot to miss there. The whole flat side of a T124. Like what? Game is 3 4. You going to rotate in or nah? Yep, and that was what my fear was. And our 422 is now sending it. Okay, well, this game is Jover. This game is Jover. So that dude's just dead. I have no more support. And yeah, welcome to this map. Look, it's like people have completely forgotten how this map works. The E15 and 422 both just throwing their tanks away completely unnecessarily. Your goal here is to hold them off of this flank so they don't farm your heavies out. That's no longer an option because, you know, they all just died. 183. 183. Uh, let's uh let's go let's go down let's drop down into the ditch and get safe, my dude. We can't stay here all game. 50 B is getting crossfired out now. This is gonna this game was just lost the moment my two Pepega meds just yoloed for no reason. It's this is the problem with rotating maps out. The um the not very good player Andes just get themselves destroyed for no reason at all. And uh there's the result. Oh interesting. So that's the WZ. At least we spotted mob. <laughs> it's just so Jover. <laughs> it's just so Jover. <laughs> oh my gosh, what a team, man. What a team. I mean, what are you even supposed to do in a scenario like this? Hello. How do you do, VK? Just gonna pop a couple shots into you and then back up. That's all. Nothing, nothing to worry about over here. We're just taking it nice and easy over here, guys. We're just taking it nice and easy. You don't have to worry about anything on this side. Alrighty. No spall liner, please. Mm, he does indeed have a spall liner. But does this dude have a spall? No, he sure does not. <sighs> I hate this map. There's a reason I've been saying for years that this is my least favorite map in the game period. This is why. Because you're just so dependent on your medium tanks not being NPCs um, to do anything. But of course, you also get your TDs that can't shoot and they're sniping all game and they're doing zero. And then E50 did one shot, 422 did two shots. Like they're both 50 percenters. Okay, one of them's at least a 50 percenter. You wouldn't think they'd play that badly. Um, yeah, there's nothing to do about that. That game was just over. One, we had no holding heavies. We only had a 50B and a, fi and a 57 heavy. What are they going to do in mid? They both have penable turrets pretty easily, especially to a crossfire. Um, so no holding heavies. Um, our med side just crumbled because they just yellowed for no reason. <laughs> oh my goodness. That was just one of those very Pepega games. Oh yeah, that reminds me. I'm going to try swapping the equipment just for funsies. We'll give it a try. We'll give it a try. Why don't you stay in the back bush and med side and just farm? Why wouldn't I stay in the back of my med bush and just farm? So I can get YOLO'd by five tanks. Maybe I would have done 2k damage instead of 1700. I don't think it would make, like, a remote difference to that battle. Sure, I have a 183 that will provide cover fire, but that 183 sitting in the open. He gets spotted. He's just gonna die. That game was just- that game was just already over. I was just seeing if I could at least give my team a chance of winning, um... Of winning the, uh, the heavy side at least, right? Something along those lines. Alright, let's see. What type of support do I got? Not a lot. Also, I feel like there's too many heavies here. No one's covering my A side. The Conqueror's AFK. The 907 is going into the back of the enemy spawn. And now the Conqueror is just allowed to poke all the way up. So, yeah. I'm glad I'm pulling back the way I did. Dude, uh, come on, team. There's no point these dates should be allowed to just sit like this. <laughs> Holy smokes, my allies. Okay. The heavies are just completely distracted on that flank. Dude, what is our... Did our 907 just drive back into spawn? Okay, he's trying to shoot the other dude. I see. Oh my gosh. Yep, that's what I was worried about. My Pega's like this Leo one here. All right. And of course, the Ice Force is just going to pull all the way over to tunnel me. Yep, because why not? I gotta get out of here as quickly as possible. Dude, and there's a 4005 chasing me down, and here's where this tank's trash mobility is just gonna be great. Holy smokes, man. Talk about a bunch of YOLOing Andes. Holy, what is that? 
There's some dog water level um, circumstances here. Teammates, hello. Some assistance would be really nice now. 907, anyone? I can't even pull back from here. I guess this game's just kind of over for me, guys. Oh, no spawn? Yes, please. No spawn? Yes, please. Let's go. Whew, I am the ultimate bait. I am the ultimate bait. Where's the Leo at? The Leo died, right? Okay, good. Holy smokes, man. Talk about a very unideal situation to be in. I was luckily lucky enough to get, make it out of that YOLO. But like, can you believe an IS-4, a 4005, and a Leo all YOLO'd into our spawn just to try and kill one Kiro? And guess what's happening to their heavy tanks on the front side? They're getting destroyed. They all wanted to kill one Kiro. And they completely threw their team's like map control. 100% of it. Well, not 100%. Like 90% of their team's map control. That's what I call being very talented tunnelers. The big double T. Talented tunnelers. We're at 4.4k damage already. 405 is almost dead now. Just must my reload. Okay. Got two shots left. <laughs> what was that battle, man? What was that? What was that game? <laughs> oh my goodness, dude. That's probably an ace, right? What? How is that not an ace? It literally was spotting all those fools the whole game. Shaking my head. KFC is lit. Litty. 46% win rate. Uh, Adrian... <laughs> Uh, Gates and Sniper. Okay, that's uh, quite the name you got there. 47% win rate. And we also have My Name Surname. 49% win rate. Three vehicles. They gave up all of their team's map control. Oh, yeah. I, I, I said I would just, just for funsies, swip the equipment. Okay. Nice reaction to the other ways. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I'm glad I was able to react to them. That was, um, unexpected. I... You know what? The Leo doing Leo thing? Sure. I didn't think the IS-4 was also going to YOLO, and I definitely did not expect the 4005 to YOLO too. Fortunately, the Conqueror, like, was bait, so they didn't just YOLO all the way onto me once I made it into our safe spawn position. Uh, and the 907 did, did, even though the 907 was playing like a very silly person there, uh, he did in the end at least make himself useful. So I give credits there. His royal baitness. Indeed. 5,200 points. Not too bad. You know. It's a good camping map for TDs and heavies. It's not bad. What are we referring to? Alright. Let's see how this diabolical this gun is with all the equipment switched to the right instead of the left. Uh, oh, I got even Beaven on my team. Oh, he's in the WZTD. Let's see if even Beaven can cook up this game. He is a origin player. So we are prepared. Uh. Wow, that ink time is really long. Uh, at least I can say the ink time's long, although I think our WZ to get a good shot in. Okay, there's that KPZ on the enemy team. Oh, what do we got here? A wild KPZ spotted. Okay. 309! Wow, talk about low rolls. We got Rose Girl over here just showing us how to make your tank go bye bye. Hmm. Actually, Supercharge maybe not such a bad play in this tank. Low-key, Supercharge feels pretty solid. And there goes Adrian Gaten Sniper. <laughs> okay. Um, KPZ straight up sending it. The version 4 is almost dead. The, um, the enemy's Super Bonkerer not doing too well over here. There's also a TVP over there. Okay, well, that was just bad shooting on my part. Nothing else to say about it. Mm-hmm. Ooh, so that was the version 4 shooting there. Hmm. I don't know if I really want to pull up on this. I might, I might, we'll see. Maybe I can spot someone up, like their version 4 or something. Okay, there's their version 4, piggy. And there's the T30. Yoink! A shot? Come on, come on, give me another shot there, buddy. 
Mm, no more shots. Oi! So uncool of you, version 4. Really uncool of you, buddy. Okay. Oh boy. What do we got here? Natural? Nice. Alright, we're cooking up okay. We're doing alright, you know, all things considered. Ah, uh, I don't think I'll be able to chase this fool down. He's about to get yeeted by a Yag, I think. Or maybe not. Maybe he's Giga Brain. Bentley Coop Riding Wit Star. For <laughs> the Virgin Clan. <laughs> What are these names, man? What are these player names? Like, I can't even comprehend what's going on anymore. Ah, oh, rip my damage. Rip my damage. Rip Adrian, indeed. <laughs> the legend, as we used to call him. Indeed. <laughs> That's the game rules. You have a sniper in your name. You die early. I don't know, man. I don't know about that one. Good job, Steven. You cooked up. Oh, wait. Steven's in Joker now. I forgot. For some reason, I thought he was still in Origin. But he's in Joker. Oopsie. Miscalculation on my part. <laughs> uh, and you hit way more shots this game because he didn't really shoot on the mo on move. Well, yeah. It was just set up kind of well for me. Interesting. Interesting. Fetness. What's up, Daniel? <laughs> it's a little baitness. Hello. Oh, watching from Rune 39. Oh. <laughs> Interesting. It's cute. They still have their <laughs> What tank should I gr uh what tank should I grind? I mean, there's so many tanks in the game to choose from. Yo, is Joker like warming up for the tournament season? Hey yo, I see Kami and I see reaction all in one battle on the enemy team, and I just had even Beaven on my team. My goodness, Joker with the revival. The real question is whether or not Assassin is still around. Okay, do I have to support over here? Maybe. It's gonna be a bit rat if the VK-72 goes this way. Also, double 4202s, and I only have APC. <sighs> Dude. No way to cut me off. Now I can't even get my early spots in. Sag. I don't know if I'll even be able to get any early spots in over here. All right, APCR. Nice, calibrated APCR is pretty decent for this. All right, one early shot into this fort here. And let's see, another shot maybe? Nice. Let's pull back and wait till we've reloaded a few more shells here. I do have a one two one and a chief coming in. And it looks like they're going through town. Interesting play by the um, enemy tune. If I say so myself. Quick shot into this man's ear. And this one's trying to run away. Shot into him as well. This one can't run away, so I'm going to save my magazine so we can clear him out pretty quickly here. Teammates, you're going to need to YOLO here pretty quickly. Well, we can. All right, I'm going to trust on our STB's abilities to push up over here. Come on, STB. Let me track this dude. Ah, dang it. That 422 turret armor do be built different. Okay, come on, boys. Time to go. Like, we have such a numerical advantage over here. It'd be silly not to... Oh my gosh, this 422 is, is a absolute legendary gamer. All right, picked up a clear on him, though. That's good. So, how's our spawn doing? Our WZ is definitely about to get deleted from the battle. Uh, our chieftain has an attachment. That's cool. That's quite the attachment you got there, buddy. The bat chat's pretty low. Good. Hmm. Bat chat's not low enough. That's, that's the problem. Okay. Minarazzo may have noticed me flanking him. I'm shot into the Minarazzo here. Two shots into the Minarazzo here. I guess my allies are just kind of sending out the Minarazzo. Three shots into him at least, okay. Alright, I don't want to really bleed out to this dude, so... Can we, like, um, not all just sit here and do nothing all game? Thank you, boys. Dang it, I really don't want to take another shot here if I can help it. This is not looking good for us, guys. This is very much not looking good for us. Okay, one clear to this dude. Oh, what is my team doing, man? What on earth are these... 
P Pega and he's doing. Of course, a Kron spawn sniped. I don't know how our chieftain got himself killed either. They just had to pull back into the dunes and force them into us, but they like just kept sitting in the worst positions. Oh, yeah, yeah. Also, the push on the 4202s, like, why was I the one that had to actually do the push when we had, like, four tanks there? Oh, my gosh, of course. Wow, they're, they're, they're platoon. Okay. 3,100 damage and 2,000 flat. They didn't even really cook up that hard. Mm -mm. My team was just really, really bad at staying alive there. That's a feels bad man moment. Am I wrong? You missed last shot. Nice stop. Nice now. Yeah, I don't know. It's too early to tell. It is too early to tell. I do like the Karo, but like, I just find that it doesn't, uh, I, it's just a, a little bit less of a winning tank solo. If I remember correctly, the Karo is a super good platoon tank though. Um, with, with, with like one player to support you with a bit of DPM to make up for the lack of this tank's DPM, it's great. Um, but like the problem here is it just, there's just so many periods you're just sitting there like slowly reloading your shells in. Um, that it could take just a little bit longer than you would want to clear out a flank. Let's give a big thanks to your argument for this amazing game. <laughs> mm, I don't know about that one, Chief. All right, let's see if my teammates can be a little bit better this time. Please do not go hill. I mean, please not go and counter cap. Go hill. I'm gonna ping it. I'm gonna ping it. I'm gonna spam it, and hopefully they can get us. Yeah, they'll get the message this time. Um, actually go to the hill. Come on, boys. Let's go hill time. I'll try and go to my position to counter the entrance of hill. Hopefully prevent their conf panzer. I don't think their pan's gonna cross, but their conf panzer might try crossing here. Okay, that's not- that appears to not be the case. That's good. Alright, so they have a pan over here, super bunker over here. That's fine. Now we have like so much map control, and this is what I, I was trying to do the first, you know, last time I was on this map. Right? We create a nice little crossfire. We have a TD covering us. We have some heavies just chilling in the back. And it's a- it's an overall peaceful time. Alright, quick shot into this baton here. Another quick shot into the baton here. I think the pan's a little bit clueless, so that's good. Nice. And you know what? Even though that the Kron's got in counter cap, which I still think is not the best idea, at least it's only one player. You know, the rest of my team are both are all in locations where they can be a little bit more useful. Uh, and so let's see if we can if we can if we make this work out for us at all. I think the I think this bop bop step is just gonna chill here. <laughs> the super bopper. <laughs> the super bopper. Let's go. But not really. The Conqueror doesn't hit all that hard. My goodness, what am I watching? It's like players galore just all sit. Oh, dang it. Now I'm going to get spotted by the Conqueror. That's what I was trying to avoid. I wanted to see if I could climb the hill for free. It's a bit risky with unspotted 268, though. <laughs> Can we be sneaky about it? Nice and sneaky does the trick. Nice and sneaky does the trick. There we go. Now we have made a hill. They have like four dudes sitting in their spawn, I'm pretty sure. Which is kind of funny. Kind of memes, to be honest. Alright, let's bottom up, Leo. Bottom up. Wow, that shot went low. Hmm. You should have told me there was an AFK here for me to farm as well. <laughs> this is game's just over, isn't it? Oh. 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 Oh, yeah. The double fires. <laughs> I aimed for that fuel tank, too. Nice. Yummy, yummy, yummy. All right, what are we doing now, boys? What are we gonna do now? We have a wild Minarazzo over here in the open, but... <laughs> Where'd that one go? Where'd that one bounce is my question. I'm just trying to see where it even bounced. Must have hit like under his turret, like... Oh yeah, that's where it hit, it hit under the turret ring, I think. Wow, that's crazy. Howdy, Fanis. Got it, I got the same spot. <laughs> Hi, fatness. Hey, fatness, I'm late. Do I need to do push-ups? Huh? Push-ups? <laughs> what for? <laughs> for being late? I don't think you need to do push-ups for that. Uh. 
Prague or Caro? Well, Prague because it's free to play and cheap and pretty easy to get your hands on if you're grinding game modes. Caro if you just want something just a little bit different. Um, they're both great tanks though. In my opinion, they're both great vehicles. Where did the Leo bounce to? Dude, I'm telling you, that Minarazzo has like magic side armor. Mm -hmm. It's me and a T100 LT. My team is not going to go this way. We're going to be a little bit outnumbered. Um, 57 Kron and a 113. All of which, and a 777. All of which could very easily yellow med side. That's why I'm not going to commit med side this time. I don't want to get caught out by all their heavies or something. I will at least try and spot them up though. Ooh, 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 ooh. So, yeah, there, there's there's the ground wagon already. I guess he hasn't spotted me yet. I'll take a snapshot because I don't want to overpeak that. See, guys, this is precisely why I was like, let's not overextend over here, yeah? Yeah, let's 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 not do that. You see our crown? You see our crown? See the the, the silly crown wagon over here? Well, both crowns are being pretty silly to be honest. He's trapped though. Ah, that second shot barely missing. Okay. All right. Oh, no. So we got a Leo to deal with in our spawn soon. Oh, our T100 LT and Conqueror have way over overcommitted. That's unlucky. Now there's a T100 LT in our spawn too. And a Karo? Oh, boys. This is not looking good for us here. The good news is I can kill this this Leo here pretty easily. But I really don't want to have to use a reserve shell on him. Boyos, this is not looking good for your boy. Oh yeah, yeah, actually that's fine by me. Ram yourself into me, you silly creature. Yes, that's right. Yes, that's right. All right, struggle to pen me a little bit more here, buddy. I guess I'll just put one more reserve shot to this dude. It's already Jover for me. Um, we did 3k. We did alright. My allies are... They haven't even killed the Kron yet. Oh, this is why we're losing. The C100's clueless in stock. Our T100 LT way overextended over on heavy side. Um, our 57's just been sitting here all game. I tried to cover our flank there. Unfortunately, yeah, no one came back to my rescue. You know, let's play a game of the Prague while I wait. Because <laughs> I've been talking about the Prague. May as well run some of the Prague too. Uh, just as a placeholder game. That's a bit unfortunate. I probably should have yelled heavy side. Honestly, instinctively, if I was being a little bit more greedy there, I would have just gotten heavy side. Um, because I already had, a, you know, I had the 200 LT, the Conqueror. And those dudes already just sitting there as bait in the middle. Like, I could have just pulled through, uh, through B-Cap. And farm them for free. I considered it when I when I initially shot a shell into the 113. I considered that play, but then I was like, ah, you know what? Maybe I can uh, help clear this Leo out here and support a 405 instead, so we don't lose our spawn. But then the Caro showed up, and that just complicated matters a whole lot. So it is what it is. But the pro the Prog is also a very good vehicle. Uh, alternative to the Caro, not quite as good as the Caro uh, in terms of its damage output, but its mobility, as you can see, is a whole lot better. Um, on move and dispersion on turret rotation is not necessarily better, but it is a little bit better in other areas of the dispersion. So get a quick early spot in here. They do have two 183, so I'll want to be careful for that. All right, one 183 has already been spotted up, so that's huge news for me. Um, and the 777 has not committed to the crossing just yet. He's waiting for me, I guess. He's really cute, to be honest. Aww. That's just annoying. Okay. The 777's in kind of a Pepega position. So I'm going to just clear out of here while I still can. So there's really no point in me going into encounter cap now. And let's see what we can do. Uh, it is so much nicer being in a tank that can actually rotate out fast, though. Like, being able to just cruise around at this speed is a huge plus to a vehicle like this. All right. Okay. Also, the proc does get 320 heat. Not the best heat pen in the world, but it's good. it's good enough to get the job done. There we go. Nice, STB, good crossfire. Now, I'm sure they still have a 183 back there. Something to keep an eye out for. Mm, that's unfortunate. I don't want to take that shot, but at least he's one tap now. All right, so my team one town. 
Which way to we're not proxied anymore. Okay, there's one of the 183s. I don't know if that's the 183. We might still have one back here somewhere too. Let's see. Take a blind shot, and if I get spotted, they have one there. Oh, nope, both of them are not here. Huge. Okay. Oh, well, that's a bit unfortunate though. Conqueror rotated in. Uh, we can kill the version 4 here super easily. If we are fast enough here, we can kill the version 4. It's not worth bleeding out for, I think. I don't know. Yeah, he's dead anyways, pretty much at this point. Right? He should be dead. Okay, team. I think it's time to make a bit of a counterplay here, boys. Alright, Super Conqueror is now uh, pushing up pretty aggressively here. The 183s have crossfires, that's a problem. Our STB is AFK or just not very um, motivated right now. I can't tell what our STB is doing. Okay. Really, Conqueror? You're, you're just gonna straight up ignore the 57 Heavy that's on you. Okay, that's crazy, dude. Wait till our camo's reset. I think it should be reset about now. Um, and I'm gonna have to push him with a 57 to provide assist here. Good stuff, 57. Should have the clear now, I think. Nice. Alright. Kind of a boring game. Sorry about that. I uh, I wasn't planning on playing a super long sweaty game in the prog, but uh, it, it just ended up being that way. This map kind of like big time sucks though. Especially from this spawn, it's really hard to hold when they push up. So fortunately, I'm just happy we managed to even win, to be honest. Mm, he's not crossing, is he? Thought he would. Never mind, he's not. He's dead. <laughs> nice girl. All right. Well, that was really boring. Not the best showcase of the prog. One thousand pounds. Thank you, thank you, gentlemen. Did you have to go to? Um, <laughs> no surprise. We lost the winter mile game. Okay. <laughs> Did you have to go to the dump to get weight? <laughs> <laughs> Kerwin, went, ah, lol. Better go down basement as tell him, hey, what you doing? Huh? Chat decided the fate of the young couple. <laughs> what are we talking about? Thumbs up everyone, you lazy muppets. Hey yo. Hey yo. He is itching a huh? There's a couple from my basement for real though. What the heck are you saying? Oh, Russian Disaster with the $50 donation. Thank you very much, Russian Disaster. Prague greater than Caro. Well, I only played one game in the Prague, and I'll tell you, it was not a good battle, but uh, maybe I'll play some more towards the end of the stream. Thank you very much for the donation and support, Russian Disaster. Do appreciate it as always. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, perfect. He's fast. He's fast. He's a fast one. All right. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pretend I'm running away over here. Oh, the E6 just crossed. I should have stayed for the crossfires. E100 creating a bit of a diversion, though. Maybe. Okay, there's the other E100. Oh, their heavies are getting kind of brain on over here. Kind of brain harmed is kind of an understatement. Prop greater than Caro. Smiley face. Anyways, I need to help our E3 out before it's too late for him. So... Yeah. It might be too late for this E3, to be honest. It might already be too late for our mans here. Nice shot, E3. That might be enough to keep you in the game here. Good stuff, buddy. Sorry, you're still gonna die to the WZ. I should have been faster on the support there. That is totally my bad. And I apologize about that, good sir. If I had rotated out faster, I could have provided you better support. Anyhow, let's see what we're going to do now. I don't want to get hit by that E4, so let's cross quickly. And cut back in towards town. My teammates are still chilling in town, I think. 
Yep, okay, and WZ just went through and countered cap. So we know the E4 is out of the fight. WZ just yelled in. Both E100s are sitting in the back as, you know, you know, typical E100 things. Kind of just sitting in Narnia all game. Chucks. Probably got spotted for that too. Oh, he didn't spot me. Interesting. Oh. Oh, hello, good sir. Really? And these E100s are truly something special, aren't they? All right, let's see what we can do from here. All right, Mr. WZ Light Tank. I know you've probably already ran away, but uh, I'd like to come say a quick hello to you. I guess I'm just on me medium control now instead of uh, farming damage. Oh, come on. Don't angle your lower plate in, you silly 100. Keep, keep it turned away from me. Oh, my gosh. This gun is just trolling me at this point. <laughs> I'm getting trolled so hardcore. Anyways, I better pick up the C4 soon. Alright. WZ Light needs to get taken out as well. And the low HP E100. Oi, 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 oi. My team is actually maybe losing this. We gotta kill the WZ Light and the lower HP E100. One more shot on him. Nice. I can pick up the clear here. Okay, where'd the WZ light go? Where'd the WZ light go is the real question. Oh, he flanked around for this dude. That's unfortunate. Okay. Nicely played, E5. Nicely played by our E5 here. Our E5's done a good job. Okay, this game was a bit of a rap fest for me. <laughs> Quite a few misplays. It's working out in my favor in the end, but uh, it doesn't stop it from being a bit of a rap fest battle. Not gonna lie. No way till I have three shots loaded at least. I know the E5 will probably outfarm me here, because, um... You know how it is. But I'd rather guarantee the three-shot kill here with APCR. Yep, there we go. Alright, just about 5k damage dealt there. Good job to T125. Well played. Oh. Now, nah, Clive, smash that lag button. Hey, yo. <laughs> Skip the supercharged. Honestly, supercharged is not so bad on this tank. Yo, E5. Well played there. You know what? Bentley Coop riding with Star from the Virgin Clan. I know I was joking about your name earlier, but you played well there. I'll give you credit. You survived. You hit all your shots. It looks like you did even out damage me there. And I was just floating around on the flank there. Um, so well played to that. Well played to that E5 there. What do you mean the sweater is fire? Bruh. <laughs> there is this really crazy thing that a lot of people seem to forget that exists. It's called subjectivity. And it's the fact that hopefully we all don't come to the exact same trashy opinions or conclusions. So you may not like the sweater, other people will love it. Do I look like I care? Not really. This is a sweater I've had for like six years. It's a little out of date, but it's just my throw on when, <laughs> when it's cold in my room. Explain the sweater fan who hates you to gift it to you. LOL. What machine? 36369. What are you talking about? It's a perfectly fine sweater. My gosh. Y'all are like... <laughs> Y'all are acting crazy over it. I'm actually pretty neutral about it. I don't mind it, but it's not It's not a sweater I ever wear out. I'll say, I'll say it that way. It's just like a around the house type of deal. <laughs> actually, I don't wear sweaters at all out when I'm headed out. I think sweaters generally are just a little bit, uh, hoodies in particular, are just kind of a little bit lazy. Lazy looking. Even if they're not exactly lazy, they look a little bit lazy. Um, that's not really my vibe when I'm dressing up to go out somewhere. Alright, anyways, I doubt the enemy team really came this way, given their lineup. They have a Patton, D4, a Chieftain, Bashalteon, stuff like that. So, we're gonna have a very bizarre fight, probably in the enemy spawn here. Uh, and maybe... Maybe elsewhere. I'm not sure. 100%. I don't want to, like, overcommit to the enemy spawn. That's my main concern. Let's put a quick shot into this man's here. And... Oh, boy. Oh, snap. Wait, wait. You really don't see me. 
Thank you. Really appreciate you not seeing me there, buddy. All right, 320. Bad day for this dude to spawn in late, I'll tell you that. Bad day to spawn in late. Also, one play you'll notice I immediately made here is... Well, let me back up a little bit. As I use this structure as cover from the right side while I was shooting the WZ to make sure I wouldn't get crossfired from, like, the VK90 or anyone else that could be in that position, like an M48 Pan, for instance. Um, just some useful tips when you're pushing up like that. Make sure you're not sitting in the open because that's the quickest way to get yourself annihilated from the game. Anyways, what do we got here? We got a Patton. The only problem is it'll be a little bit iffy to counter push this, but if I can get through the, to this rock unspotted... He only got to back up more, is he? Oh, he did. Okay, I'll take that. Unfortunately, I did get spotted for that. I think how we can play from here. Okay, I'm still secure for now. We can rotate back for the 268, and the Bashathion, and the Chieftain. Considering the E4 is kind of a Narnia, that might not be a bad play. The question is, where's the Bat Chat going to be? That's that's the real question. Oh, there's the Bashathion. Bat Chat's doing Bat Chat things, which is the Yolo the Yolo Pepega run. Bat Chat just got tracked. Bat Chat got caught between two auto loaders. Bat Chat dead. <laughs> Talented bad chat. Okay, where were we? We are back to farming. Mm -hmm. mm. Look, it's uh. Would you like to join the HRF damage fund? It is uh free of charge. You just have to sacrifice your hit points. One-time donations taken. Hello, Mr. 263. Why don't you help me out on this dude? I'll track him for you too. Thank you, sir. And time to reload. Get him, 263! Yeah! Get him, I-7! Yeah! Oh, no. It's not a yeah. Oh, you know what is a yeah? Killing this dude off first, actually. Give me three seconds. Nice. Perfect. I think the E4 is over with the VK90 last I checked, so I'm just gonna yell this way. Alright, well, not a bad game. This was a very bizarre battle. Uh, I'm glad I went heavy side though instead of med side. I just kind of saw my teammates wandering this one. I was like, yeah, it'll probably be a bad idea for me to go med side. So uh, I just kind of committed to this end of the map, which luckily worked out for me. Hello, good sir. Mm. What do we got here? Oh, did he give up? Mm. Nice. Nice. Easy 4K. Easy W. <laughs> the the sweater is slayed. Hey yo, we have like a full on uh, fight over here in the comments section about a about a hoodie, man. <laughs> Entertaining at least. I'll put it that way. <laughs> no, I love the sweater. I was talking tell the other guy that the sweater is fire and he didn't like it. My bad. No, 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 dude. I really don't care. You guys can form whatever opinion you want. <laughs> That's the whole point. I don't care if uh, I don't care about your opinions. As long as you're not like genuinely dog water opinions. Like if they are genuinely trash opinions, I might call you out on it. <laughs> but if if you don't like a piece of clothing, that is like one of the most subjective things you could have. I've always wanted to be a big tanker, all the oil and sweat, and men in close proximity sign me up. Um Do you want to be an oil tanker? Yeah, you can be with a bunch of sweaty men out in the sea, chugging oil. That sounds like uh, that sounds like that sounds like a life, right? <laughs> oh my goodness! VK went to Farmington. He did go to Farmington. Hey, he must have heard me. I said on stream, "Do you want to contribute to the HRF Damage Fund?" And all you have to do is like just, just uh, you know. Feed me some damage. The VK was totally listening, wasn't he? Also, what the heck is my team doing, man? I usually would go bridges, but this time I might hold off because my allies are being super slow in the crossing here to med side. If I super slow, I mean, I don't really have all that much support on this end, to be honest. Well, 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 what do we have here? We got an E6. And we got a bunch of allies in town. Uh-huh. And we got a whole bunch of tanks above me. Interesting. 
Two six eight going towards the flank at least. Hey buddy. Get snapshotted. Okay, you know what? I really am just not vibing with how this is unrolling. Yeah, please thank you for the track shot, WZ. I do sincerely appreciate your contribution to the tracking shots here. All right, now we should be fine. All I have to do is just hold this corner here. Let me see if I can at least pick up a kill on the C50 here. WZ not feeling so good, it would appear. Come on, three seconds, one, two, three. Probably not the best trade for you, buddy. Just, just throwing it out there. How am I chilling over here? I'm chilling for now, I guess. But knowing, uh, knowing how things roll on these sides of the maps, I think it's about time for me to pull out from here and go to a position where my heavies can at least cover me. We can maybe get ready to clear out the Yag and stuff like that. That's probably the best play we can make right now. The Yag just fired his gun, so that's a huge, huge plus for me right now. All right, now we got to try and get this Yag out of here. So one shot into the Yag, nice fuel tank shot as well. Two shots into the Yag. Come on, make him a one shot for me. Make him a one shot for me. Nice, okay, he's dead. Okay, so we managed to clear out the Yag there. Hmm, do I still have cover fire? I still have any 100 for some degree of cover fire. And a Minerato should be okay for now. For now, being the keyword here. Um, the question is, can I hold this position okay? That's going to be the real hard, the hard decision we got to make here. Nice one, 1A3. Oh, huge. That's a pretty important kill if I say so myself. Mm-hmm. Okay. Minotaro, are you going to come help me? No, the Minotaro's in the flank. That's not good. My one ally that can support me here. Okay, this is going to be a pretty important next couple of set of shots here. All right, quick shot to this man's here. Let's pull back from him. Like clear onto this dude here. Now we're going to have to clear out the E6 next. Nice. Okay, that's five kills for me. Do have a Minotaur for support as well. I think I played this game perfectly. This is like a masterclass on relocating, I think. On how to play around your team. Absolute S tier gameplay, I think. Okay, let me track this dude. Minchara, you put another shot into him at least. Let me put like one more shot into this man's here. I'll just pull back. And you'll pull forward. But that means more damage for me, I think. So I'll take it. Come on, keep climbing that bridge, buddy. Keep climbing that bridge. Don't sit there all game. Mm-hmm. Where are you going to go now? Okay, let's go for some field tanks here now. Okay, Minotaur should have them, so I'm just about to last shot in. Easy. I think with the fires, that should be an easy 7,000 damage game. Woo! Sweaty! Sweaty, 7,200 damage. All right, all right. My gosh, my teammates were just like non-existent there, but I'll take it. <laughs> I think I played that so perfectly, man. Every rotation was perfectly timed in order to give me the chance to win there. And, um, you know, the important shots hit and stuff like that. So almost 2K base XP. How much did we make in the end total? Uh, that game profited me. Oh, it was a times three. So what was it before the boosters? And... I don't know what it is before the boosters, but it was a lot of XP, I think. I think we made a pretty good amount of, of, of XP. The, the 3X. Without the 3X, it's hard to tell. I got so many clovers! Why is that mad? The U100 is salty. A Diablo is salty. Which one's Diablo? I came oh, for the, the tanking and Bobby and got an extra treat with the Bill Cosby sweater. <laughs> <laughs> Bill Cosby sweater. Stinky. Thank you very much for the $10 donation. Do you appreciate that? Came for the for the, the tank and a ball. You got an extra treat with the Bill Cosby sweater. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. Shotgun, I thought this was very mechy. Yeah, it was a pretty mechy game. I'm happy with that one. Oh boy. It's been two and a half hours of gameplay um, in the good old fashioned curve. 
And I think, yeah. I mean, this is the third time today. We did 7,100 damage for that one Oasis Palm Games. We did 6,900, 6,900 damage for another game. And now we just did 7,200 damage and won this one. Finally getting a win with the 7K. Um, although we did do a 6.9k uh, win as well. Uh, we've had a lot of pretty decent high damage games. Like, this tank strengths 100% are like that late game cookery. The late game cookery is where you're going to really, really feel um, vibey in this type of vehicle. The undershot. Oh, yeah. The kills are on the E6 is pretty low. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy with these, these games. You know, I've had quite a few losses. I've had quite a few mid games in the carol. But for the most part, it is really solid. It is really, really solid. Um... I'll play a couple of games in the Carol to end things off. I mean, not the Carol, the Prog to end things off with, because I'm sure people are kind of curious about Prog versus Kiro. Uh, in my opinion, you can't really go wrong with either. It is probably more or less personal preference. The Caro is obviously one that just it does hit harder with 380 alpha instead of 350 and you know the four shots for emergencies and stuff like that. That's gonna be a big thanks to Oregon for this amazing game. <laughs> I shock. I was here for the tie game on Oasis 2. Really shock. Oh goodness. Goodness. You got to see me mauled over my back. Bounced shots on the mouse. I was so mad about that. <laughs> what is um uh, Chuck? What is what is going on with you, Chuck, man? <laughs> so run supercharged? Sure. Honestly, I'll play some guys in the prog uh just 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 for fun to end it off with. But um yeah, supercharged and and dispersion both felt fine i'm not really sure if it makes a huge difference but actually the supercharge does make a difference when you have um apcr standard uh, it prevents the pen drop off at distance at least so that in of itself is a good reason why you may want to consider supercharged if for nothing else um okay we'll see it's not gonna be good if i take a bunch of shots to the side of the turret here all right quick shot into this dude here nice the boss shot the on pushing up and that's an sdrvk where's my team support at Really? How did that even miss? I'm sh I could have sworn like 90% of his turret was in my reticle there, but okay. Game on. We got a wild uh, T1 LT also being aggressive here. The good news is they have no TDs. The bad news is my uh, heavies are taking quite a while to come show up, show up and provide support over here. All right, team, time to kill this. Oh my goodness. Well, that didn't go as planned. They have an E100 and a VK72 both sitting in spawn, dude. They're both sitting in spawn. Both of them. Oh my gosh. I shouldn't have backed up when the WZ yoloed in. <laughs> you can do 7200 damage one game and then you'll get a game like that. I actually got bonked by the sniping heavies. I thought maybe they'd be pushing through town. But no, they're both just sitting in spawn. Well, we should win. We should very easily win. Well, honestly, dude, me and my <laughs> baby girl bun watched four episodes of Dororo. Oh, only four? You could have watched more. Okay, let's just pretend that game didn't happen. Uh, we'll give the prog a fair chance next time. I'm gonna just nuke someone in the 183. Yikes. That's fast for gets heavy TDs. Yeah. I have to remember I'm playing on the NA server. And if you have 600 alpha damage and all, and like 3,000 hit points, basically, you are bound to be seeing someone sniping. That was just a bruh momento. And of course, like, they roll 780 with an AP. So the E100 also gets like an insane high roll there. Can't trust the team. Well, it's not that I didn't trust my team. My team was, they were super slow on the crossing. That's true. But I mean, at least they're pushing up. Back to the carol we go. What do you mean? I'm happy. I, I'm not gonna, I'm not, I, I'm probably finished with the carol for the day. I played the carol for two and a half hours. I had plenty of very good games. Oh, 118 time fast is ending stream soon. Yeah, basically, Shock, that's, that's how it works. I didn't want to stream for too, too, too long today. Um, then, you know, keep it to like less than three hours or so. Generally, that's what I was going to try and do. But I had a good time. I had a good time in the Caro. I will admit, I did have a good time in the Caro. A few rack games, but for the most part, it was a pretty solid run. Did enjoy the tank. Uh, and... Really? Do it. Poke it. You're so dumb. <laughs> You're so dumb. <laughs> I'm sorry. T100, did you really think... I was not going to hit those. Shaking my head, dude. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh, I see peak opportunity. Turn the auto aim off. And wait our turn. Enemy armor is hit. <laughs> this VK is just like, what the heck hit me? What hit me? I don't understand. Yeah, <laughs> boy. You don't know what's coming. The, the art of, of snipery, the art of sniping is upon us. 
turned off auto aim and everything for it. Look, on back up, back up, back up, back up. Hmm. This is pleasant. This is very pleasant indeed. I'm just keeping an eye on the mini map to keep things in order. Okay. I think we're stopped chilling here. Oh, snap. I might, I might uh, have a 200 LT yellowing into me here. I probably have them in front of me somewhere because I just got spotted. Look at sir. No, I didn't realize the, I didn't realize the wall pulled up so soon there. What is this 200 LT doing? Like seriously, brother? Oh my goodness. Okay, my teammate's gonna like help me clear this dude out or what? Nice Patton. Good, good man, Patton. Good man. Make 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 this Pepega Andy a one shot for me. Why don't you, laddie? Memes. Okay. Well, that was a unfortunate fluff, but we still killed the T one LT in the end, so that's good. Uh the T one LT messed up. If he had not set off the uh the, okay, that's why if the T one LT had not um what the heck is that? If the T100 LT had not gone through encounter cap, I probably would not have really been pre-aimed for him and ready ready for him and ready to chase him down there. Um, wow, my teammates are still low-key kind of losing this. That's crazy. What's even crazier? Oh, this is even crazier. Please, please, please let it hit. Dang it, man. I mean, it still splashed him for 500. Not the worst in the world case scenario. But I, I am a bit salty about that, not gonna lie. Oi, 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 what is the Fosh doing? What the Fosh doing? Hey, yo. Hey, yo, what the Fosh doing? What? That's 1,400 damage into the turret. I hit his mantlet, so I didn't bet. That was silly of me. Fine. I should be able to clutch up here. Even if our man's dies. Even if our man's dies. Holy. Maybe not. Maybe not if he dies all the way. Okay, the patent should be able to take out the 100, I think. You are just looking for me. Yeah. Triple as that. 183 cooks. The 183 cooks, my dudes. It cooks. It is a very cookie, a very cookie tank. Uh, hello, good sir. Never mind, it does not cook. Wait, Patton, you're gonna come in and help me, right? Yeah, that's right. Patton, go, go in for the opposite direction. Don't just sit there all game, my dude. T oh boy, Patton. Oh boy. Go, 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 go. Patton, this is not very big brain. You shouldn't be sitting right on me. Oh my gosh, we both suck. Go, 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 go. Thank you, Patton. <laughs> we both suck. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this isn't Twitch, it's YouTube. <laughs> hey, he, um, yeah, he's uh, not coming back. He's not coming back. <laughs> uh... Oh my gosh, what are these people? That's a first class apparently. Okay, well, we love the pro game. We're not gonna talk about my damage. Mm, yeah, yeah, we did bottom. Ay, yeah, yeah. Okay, we got we gotta do a little redemption for the prog, man. That, that last game just was not it, Chief. Bro thought we were on Twitch where the rules allow soft nudity. Dude, I remember like looking over that drama on Twitch and uh, the Twitch devs were like, artistic nudity is allowed. And then they like start banning people for it. And they're like, but it was art. And then like, and then like reverted the rules like in a day that they changed their, their restrictions. And basically, yeah, basically uh, Twitch is just wild. Twitch is completely wild. Check to the delete message. I saw shock. I saw Twitch is just a it's a crazy place for crazy people. I'm kidding. There's some cool people on Twitch. There's a lot of cool people on Twitch actually. It's just the ones that get the most attention or the silly ones that are uh, the least chill. Restore the band. Ban the unbanned. Eh, why would we do that? Oh, it's Russian disaster on the enemy team. Would you look at that? Might take an early shot from him here. Hello, Russian disaster. Hmm, that unmovement dispersion on the prog demonstrating its peak, its peak uh, accuracy as always. I mean, the E4 is not going to yell all the way in for me, right? Right, right. I would hope not. Okay, quick shot to the C3, E4 here. Uh, of course, the 50B is just pre-aiming for me. But you know what? The E, the E, um, 
Well, you don't got himself nuked, so it's not such a bad thing, really. He 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 he. That Mr. Yeager. Oh, you know what? That's not a good poke. <laughs> not a good poke, but at least I didn't commit to it. All right. Anyone else around this corner? Okay, the M4 could kind of shoot me if I'm not careful here, so I'm just going to pull back really fast. There we go. And, uh, yeah, this is the prog. You know, the, the nice thing about the prog is, even though it has less alpha, is, like, the reload does feel a lot shorter. Not having that reserve shell, it does make a pretty nice, comfortable difference to how the tank feels. Um, accuracy, it's, like, better and worse at the same time than the, uh, the Karo, which is kind of funny. One of these, one of these dudes just fired. Whoa, buddy. Chew. Okay, I'm not really doing much here because like my whole team's just kind of sitting and they're all kind of just sitting. Everyone's just sitting around in Narnia. So I think what I'll do instead is see if I can get ready to move up and cover my allies a little bit from here. Actually, yeah, that, that, that's the big rain play. First, we gotta. Never mind, Batch, I took care of it. First, we gotta cross up to this hill. And then. Start farming these dudes from behind. Okay, quick shot to this man's for starters here. Another shot to the 50B here. Another shot to the 50B here. Yep, this is uh, it's Jover for them. This is this is what a Jover game looks like for the enemy team. Max roll, nice. And this is where the single shot in the prog actually is like decent. It's like tier nine medium tank levels of DPM, you know? It's it's not bad. It's not bad for 350 alpha damage. All right, mean gay X. You have fun down there, buddy. I'm gonna go like deal with your with your um. Your tank destroyers. Oh, okay. Well, there's one over here. Never mind. Just have to act like I'm running out this way. Then we do the double back. Okay. I still want the. Never mind. I was gonna say I just didn't want the Yag pushing in up on me, but never mind. The Yag didn't even move out of their spawn. Is he turning my way though? Is he turning my way? Is that the real question? Not fast enough. That's for sure. Nice, 4.2k damage. Yep, and that's the good old prog for you, right? Prog does most of what a Carol can do. My team, epic bots. Yeah, RD, your team was pretty bad there, dude. Um, I kind of felt bad. That was, yeah, you, you did 4,000 damage though. Look at you, you cooked up pretty hardcore there. Um, the problem was like your 50B and your M4. Yeah, they all just kind of sucked. Um, but yeah, you know what, prog can cook too. I'll play one more, I'll play one more in the prog. Um, and then we'll probably get ready to call quits for the for pretty soon. Got lucky and got this thing for eleven dollars and change. Well, that is a good deal. I mean, heck, if you can get a Caro for cheap, why not? Um, I'm not going to tell you to spend money, but if it's affordable for you and your circumstances, then maybe consider it. If you really think you'll like the tank, um, but I'll never like tell you to go out and buy buy vehicles. Stam proud Russian disaster. You are strong. <laughs> I don't think I'll get the reference shock, but yes. Oh, it's Nala. Good old, good old friend Nala. Used to be in Panda, but I guess is uh, I don't, I don't know about PNG. Maybe some of you more comp connoisseurs out there have heard of PNG. I don't know that clan. I just know that that player used to be in Panda. Um, all right, let's see what we can do from here on out. So, yeah. I'm probably... Am I gonna go corner? Do I want to go corner? 62 minus 1, 2, 1. I guess I don't really have a choice but to go corner, but I, 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 if those two get hauled down, it's gonna be a real world of pain for me. They're totally gonna get hauled down in the corner, aren't they? Yeah. That's unfortunate for me, ain't it? That's quite unfortunate. Yeah, there's nothing I can really do about this this one here, man. There is nothing I can do about this one here. We're just gonna have to back up a bit. Just a bit. I don't have to back up all the way. You know, just enough where I won't get completely gamed on over here. I can maybe hold the outside just a, a tidbit here as well. Luckily for me, tanks like their E4 are pretty slow on the uptake here. But as you can see, as our 1 to 1B is lagged out or made some kind of mistake. Maybe it was lag. Maybe it was mental lag, or it was game lag, I can't really tell. Hmm. I'm just gonna have to play in the back a little bit here. Yag just fired. Oh boy. Yeah, this is the problem with this map. Yeah, it looks like our 1-2-1 did, did lag out, unfortunately. We don't have corner control. 
Our Kron is holding the middle position, which is good for us, but that's not going to be enough to give us a win here, per se. Um, there's also a 57 Heavy coming around on our flank as well. So, let's see if I can at least... Oh, snap, that's not good. What's our E6 doing here? E6 can at least be helping me out here. Like, a little bit better. Bro, what? How's the one 2 one still have shots on me? That's so rad. Well, this is Jover. This is some um, Jover level gameplay, my dudes. Yeah. So, I could an old corner. We have Jora Jora over here. Just wandering in the enemy spawn. Could have pushed up with our Kron. Our poor Kron couldn't do anything. Our Evil 100 sat back and sniped instead of pushing up with their Kron. You know, if our team had just pushed up together, we probably would have been fine. Alright, yeah, that's enough. That's enough playing meds in these garbage teams. We'll do what we'll, we'll get like one more Chad 183 game in. Oh my lordy. I just realized the European nation's like one of the few nations that doesn't have um doesn't have a tank destroyer tier 10. Or lights. No TDs or lights. But lights are a little bit more rare, but no TDs, that's crazy. Oh man. Oh, that was painful where you were uh, uh, that painful hand you were dealt. Yeah. I mean that's poor Bay in a nutshell. Like, the Kron did the right thing and pushed up to the mid-ridge, but then no one else supported the Kron except for the Hori. Our 1-2-1 one, one lagged out and just got full health, so anyone that could have helped me maintain corner control was just instantly gone there. Um, then our Evil Hunter was sniping and our E6 was just wandering in town the entire time. That's a good old-fashioned port bay. Hey, you got one of my teams? Hello? No, I got one of my teams. <laughs> I got one of my teams. <laughs> that was my team. I don't think that was anyone else's team, except for whoever else was in that game. <laughs> My goodness. Getting bad teams on the NA server is so norm, but people are still like, Hey, you got one of my teams. Like, bro, that's just a typical NA team 90% of the time. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Give me that hat shot. Uh, you're so lame. Just like all Chieftain players, lame. Go on, poke it again. Yeah, nice try, buddy. Alrighty. Don't quite have shots on this dude. Med side is not winning somehow, even though they should be. Not really sure how med side's failing to win here. They should have an overmatch of some kind. Also, no one else is spotting top side, so I better pull back. Oh no, they have a minute rats there. That might be why. I have to be really pulling in all the way over here. Okay, nice early shot to that man's there. And I'm not gonna have a Chieftain and a 50B pulling up on me, but the good news is I still have these two TDs for support, so it's not the end of the world. It's definitely not the end of the world. Watch this, guys. Oh my gosh! Standard HG into his side. Side of the Chieftain there, he just lost almost 1600 HP there. Dude, the standard HE on the 183 is next level memes, I swear. That Chieftain must hate his life after that. Holy smokes, man. Yeah, just stay there and shoot at me, dude. That's a great idea. Now where are you gonna back up to? AP? I'll take the rack kill there. Is this dude still gonna try and shoot at me here? Yeah, come on, man. Don't, don't, don't be so silly like that. There we go. Yeah, yeah, get him, WZ. Show the, show the chieftain who's the boss. That's my man. Good stuff there, dude. Alright, so they still have a grill for crossfire. Something to be aware of. I don't think the 15 is going to poke this, but he might. I don't think he will. Bit concerned about grill crossfires, but you know what? We're going to send it anyways. Oh, there's the grill. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I have a max roll. If, he, if this dude doesn't have a spall liner and I have a max roll, you know what can happen here, right? We did it. We did it. We done did it. We one tapped a tier 10 tank with a non ammo rack. The Death Star is real. The Death Star is real, my boys. Watch, I'm going to act like I'm not looking at this E50 and then we're going to switch back for the kill. My boys, the Death Star is real. <laughs> Bop. All right, how's it going, Chief? Where do you think you're going, buddy? 
don't think you're going anywhere. Mr. E50M is going to clear you out. Oh my god! <laughs> he didn't have a spool! He didn't have a spool! Eh. I'm happy. That's the game I wanted. Hmm. That's the game I wanted. Wasn't like a lot damage wise, only 5.6. But it was fun. It was fun. I'm gonna have a, one of these melon candies now to reward myself. Okay, wait. We gotta get some replays on this game, okay? So. I'm going to Jero, bless this poor soul. But let's, uh, let's look back. So, the game started out kind of trashy. I was just talking trash on their chieftain player. Let me get a shot into this dude. All right. But then we, we giga brain. Also, if you're not aware, the chieftain sides above its engine deck are he -able. So you're going to look, you're going to see me. So I took a risky shot here. I loaded up the standard HE right now. And you can see, if you look at the hitbox of the chieftain, you can HE it all along this side deck here, right? It's all gray. And so he gets, yeah, he gets lit up for 1500. Um, then we then we proceed to unfortunately not get a higher HP rack on that dude. Um, and then I yeah wow I did four shots of four shots of damage that game was almost six thousand damage in four shots and two of them were way less than my alpha. You know one was a like seven hundred HP rack. Look at this poor dude. Look at this poor dude. Oh my god. <laughs> that is memes. Okay that's a screenshot for sure. Lol. What a funny game. Okay, I'm happy. Stand strong, you are proud. Yeah. <laughs> Where's Bobby? Uh, Bobby's sleep. Bobby's sleeping. If you genuinely want to know where Bobby is, she is asleep. Okay, it's like super bright, so you can't see anything. She's right under there. Like, um, yeah, you can see her moving around. Bobby! Bobby! Come on. Come show yourself to the stream, girl. Meow. Come here. Come here. <gasps> There you are. Give me Bobby. Come on, come say hi. Oh yeah, there you go. Come say hello to the stream. Yes. Who's a good girl? Oh my gosh, she's messing up my Apple pencil. Hi. Hi. Come say hello to everyone. <laughs> hi there. Hello. Yes. Good, good way to end the stream with the sweetest of kittens. How you doing? Do you have a good nap? Yawn. Oh, tired kitty. Hey, your kitty. She's like, you woke me up, human. I was napping. How dare you do that to me? There you go. Oh, you want a chin rub now? <laughs> yeah, he's a good kitty. Good old little Miss Bobbers. And so there you go. There you go. Now you got your post stream bubbe. Uh, but yeah, anyways, I had a lot of fun in the 183 actually. Both games are pretty memes. Prog not so much. Oh, we'll get the Prog a fair chance some other day. But yeah, Kiro's pretty good. Solid tank. Uh, if you do get one, good for you. I don't think it's like a 100% 100 necess necessary tank to get, but if you feel your play style, then it's not a bad pick. I actually had quite a bit of fun in the vehicle and quite a few very good games in it too today. And so, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed today's stream on the Carol. Do appreciate the support as always. And I'm sure Bobby does too. That's right. And so from me and Little Miss Bobette, I say thank you very much. Hope everyone has a great Sunday. Uh, if you are watching the Super Bowl tomorrow. Have fun with that. I'm trying not to drink too much. <laughs> and uh, until next time, I'll, I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.